Hi, chat. Hello. How are you? I hope you're all well. It's Friday, which means it's the end of the week. That's right, chat. We did it. We made it through to the end of another week. We're still here. Well, that, listen, sir. You, you made that choice, sir. Uh, listen, you made that choice. You chose to do that to yourself. <laughs> Sports fan, no, I didn't. Are you sure? Technically, you did. You took this job, did you not? Therefore, you made that choice, did you not? Aha. There you go. Ah, uh, chat. As you can see, I'm kind of... We're, we're, we're dealing with a slightly uh, low energy day today, but it's all good. We're going to be jumping back into Enshrouded. I feel like there, we, we've made some pretty decent progress. Um... You know, all we got to do really for the base at this point is just to finish up the gable ends on the blacksmith shop. And then from there, I'm also making the choice in a few hours to get up, leave the house and do things. Hey, there you see. There you go. There you go. See, sports fans learning. He's taking the initiative. Um, so we're not going to sit here too long. Normally, I like to sit and just sort of chat, but I'll be honest. I'm kind of I'm kind of talked out. I just dad doesn't have the energy for it. Uh, <laughs> something I do want to mention, though, uh, something I've noticed is one of the biggest complaints that a lot of people seem to have with regards to Enshrouded is the ridiculous side of this game using 98% of a GPU when you've got it locked at 60 FPS. Like right now, we're in the menu. We're only using 38, 39%, right? Unity. Well, this isn't Unity. This is their, this isn't Unity and this is an Unreal Engine. Um, the uh, developer and publisher Keen created their own game engine for this. This, this has their, this is, uh, so King, uh, King Games, they created their own game engine. They created what is called the Holistic Game, uh, the Holistic Engine. This is their own in-house game engine. They're not using Unity. They're not using any off the shelf. Ironic, what Keen Games or Holistic? From some, oh, come on, man, really? Just because it's Holistic? You do understand Holistic doesn't, Holistic doesn't include gems, okay? Just saying. Holistic. Listen, rubbing crystals on it? That's not holistic. Holistic medicine is herbs actually using natural substances. Natural. Nature. Nature. That's holistic medicine. What we used to do to fix people before pharmaceuticals. That's what the spooky ghosts are sexy, but they're good ghosts. Sexy. I mean, listen, we can have sexy ghosts. Yeah, I'm just so we're we're not we're gonna we're gonna mess around with the base a little bit. I'm just I'm feeling like I so a couple of things. I didn't go to bed super late last night. I actually went to bed around my norm my usual time, my normal time. Uh, I have no idea what is currently. Oh, shit! There we go. Took a minute. Yeah. So. Hey. Okay, well, why is my performance so freaking gross, though? I know they patched, but what did they change here? You know what? Not much. All right, we'll just give it a moment. We'll give it a moment. Hey, uh, my GPU usage dropped. I'm all right with that.
But the performance, wow, I was getting 60 solid, now I'm not. I think I know what I did though. We're gonna have to reload the game. I gotta make a change. We've gotta reload the game, chat. Need to reload the game. Right. <sighs> Hi, Zool. They're sexy ghosts. Yeah, so I'm just... I... S I had a rough sleep. I know that. So I slept really rough. Um, I didn't wake up until almost 9.30 this morning, which is very unusual for me. Like, I slept through two alarms. Completely fucking dead to the world. Absolutely just, like... I woke up saw the time and I was like I damn near like I was like holy crap uh we're going to set that back to allow like, it was freaking insane yo black ghost how you doing hey black uh I'm guessing you probably got the information packet from Ubisoft regarding uh regarding skull and bones um I'll be honest uh I don't think I'm gonna do it just cause they offered it I don't think I'm gonna do it that's the beautiful thing about it. We don't have to if we don't want to. And I'll be honest, I don't actually, and I'm gonna I'm gonna come out clean. I don't think this community is going to enjoy Skull and Bones anyway, so. No, no, doesn't have anything to do with that. It has everything to do with the fact that I just don't really have a lot of interest in it. As much as I enjoyed doing some of the testing early on, uh, and as much as I enjoyed the, uh, the sailing aspect, of um, a black flag, I just don't think it's going to do well as as a streaming game. Okay, so even making that change didn't do squat. All right, well, I don't know what they did to the game, but they did something very weird. I just don't think it's going to do well here. So because because I have that you know presence of mind that I don't think that it's going to do well as a title. I'm like, I'm just not going to, st I'm not going to take the, uh, and I'll be honest, they're, they're not offering me anything. Like, yeah, I get a, I, I like getting a gold edition of the game isn't enough, right? Uh, so PVP and Skull and, Cro and, Skull and Bones, it's, it's open, everything. It, it is open world PVP. Think Sea of Thieves. Is there a single player in Sea of Thieves? No. There is no single player in Skull and Bones. Well, yeah, I mean, getting a gold copy of the game, I do get a lot of extra stuff with that, but I don't think it's enough. I, I honestly, I'm sorry, my time is worth more than just getting a free copy of the game. Yeah, but remember, Casper, it's open world. It's like Sea of Thieves. I mean, there is, there, there is no, um, the, the thing I'll be honest about Skull and Bones is it is not a single player experience. It was never built to be a single player experience. It never will be a single player experience. I mean, build wise, it has a reference. It does have a reference. Yeah. Like go, buying gold edition or buying a collector's edition actually had something. It's full on multi yet. Just like Sea of Thieves, full on multi, right? I would have preferred a single player of that game. It would never play a multiplayer Skull and Bones. Just give me the reboot of Black Flag. They are doing a reboot of Black Flag. They are. That one I have a little more interest in. And I'll be honest, the reason I have interest in a reboot of Black Flag is because I worked as an in-house tester for Ubisoft on the original Black Flag. That's one of the reasons why Skull and Bones initially really interested me. Right? Like, because I worked on the original as an in-house tester paid by Ubisoft to sit there in their offices and test and then, you know, do fill out QA forms and everything else, right? It was good. It was amazing. I freaking loved the hell out of that game. Loved it. But, again, because of that, I was like, I was really keen on Skull and Bones, but... I'm sorry, I'll be honest, Ubisoft is not a free copy of the game. Not enough, not enough for me, man. Not not enough because I know I know what the, the hit is gonna be. I know that the numbers hit here. I'm very aware of that and I have to be aware of that because this is my job. 
right? So I have to be aware of that numbers hit. Uh, what the fuck is happening right now? Why is... Why is this... Being such a potato? Are you guys getting frame stuttering right now? Yeah, see, I have to be though. This is my job, ghost. This is how I uh, how I earn to pay my bills. Yeah, fuck. So I don't know what they did, but I'm gonna return to main menu. You successfully prepared a turkey? Yeah, no, and that, like, I'm seeing that on the second PC, but yeah, like, we're in DLSS, what the, okay, what on the, what in the actual Shitamaru? Alright, well, let's have a quick look here, maybe we aren't going to be playing in Shrouded today, that's a shame, that'll be a shame, they, they did a quick little patch, it was only like, 1.6 gigabits. You know what? We're just gonna we're gonna set that back to global. I didn't make any other changes other than that, and that shouldn't have done it. We're just gonna use the auto. No, I know my settings are fine, right? Your 98% GPU bad patch can bring the whole roof down. It was at 98% GPU before the patch, but now it's not capturing. That's the problem. That's where the issue is. I didn't have a problem before. Uh, let's do 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 do. Really, there's. Okay, well. Alright, so... What the hell is... Why is that up there? What the frack? <laughs> That's... Whoopsie! They had an oopsie in that patch? I mean, I've had that happen with bad patches in the past. Well, and that's, yeah, so, I mean, and that's the thing, so, before the patch, all available updates, okay, well, you say that, but I don't believe it. Alright, let's try this again, shall we? Well, I mean, so, I know that one of the pat one of the things about the patch was they were trying to account for, um, perform uh, performance. Alright, well that seems to be working fine. And by performance, I mean pushing GPUs to like 98-99% when you've got the, the uh, frame rate locked at... Wow. Oh, hold on. Let's let's give it a minute. Let's give it a minute here. Uh, no, I I know it's not reshade. All right, the stuff in the distance seems to be fine. No, it's it is a stuttery fucking mess. See if I do this. Let's do that and see if that changes anything. All right, there we go. 
It's because- okay, so, uh, no, so what it is- yeah, that's better. It's still a little rough, but it's definitely better. Uh, so... That's better. So, what it is, is OBS. Uh, whatever change they made for performance actually also affected OBS. Um, and how OBS captures, uh, full screen display. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, shit. Yeah, so, you know. Uh, so, it, okay, so, OBS has two ways of doing it. It can do a DXGI layer, or it can just, it does, has three options. Auto capture for whatever is full screen display. Um, Windows 10 professional and up, which uses a, uh, which uses a, an underlying layer in Windows or DXGI. The problem with Vulkan as a render pipeline is Vulkan also uses DXGI. So if OBS gets stuck in DXGI mode, which does happen from time to time, and you have a Vulkan game playing on your screen, full screen, MIT, I mean, you know what? He's not wrong, render pipeline, MIT club name, sounds good to me. I'll render your pipeline. Uh, so what ends up happening is you have two pieces of software trying to vie for the same system resource, right? One being a game, and a game is going to have a lot more heavy system resource usage than, say, rendering a single window. This is Motorfest, this be, no, 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 no. Motorfest was something different. Motorfest was actual performance issues. Had no, it, it's, that was, that was, and remember with, with Motorfest, it wasn't at launch. It was the problem, the problem came down to for Motorfest was uh, the beta. It's still, it's still stuttery as shit, isn't it? All right, you know what, let's, uh, you know what, let's do this. Reload that really quick. Actually, you know what, hold on. Let's do this. Um... We're gonna set that. All right. And then, so what What I'm gonna do, hold on. We're gonna do that. We'll set it back to its standard. Nope, nope, that actually made it worse, shit. The frames give me early, uh, early life, uh, yeah, Borderlands 2 vibe. Alright, well. Alright, let's try that and see what happens. Yeah, apparently frames took an early weekend, also true. Downside to downside to Vulcan. Vulcan's got a lot going for it, but there are some downsides to it as a render pipeline. Uh, limit frame rate. Yeah, we'll turn that back on. Uh, yeah, we'll throw that on. See if throwing VSync on. Sometimes that'll do it. Uh, we'll. ASS, uh, SSAO to balanced. Set that to balanced as well. Uh, distant object balanced. All right. So I drop things down to balanced, my GPU usage goes up, but you notice, game's working fine now. 
now it's capturing fine. So that is actually, uh, that's a bug. That is, that is definitely a game bug. 100% a game bug. Big pink theme super is not, ooh, big pink theme super, nice. So yeah, that is, that is, because see how smooth it is now? I made those quick little changes in the back, uh, on the, uh, for the, for the game. My GPU usage went up, back up to where it was, but now all of a sudden the game capture is fine. Because, you know, that, that makes all the sense. Okay, we're gonna, there we go. All right, um, I should be able to, I need wood logs and string. We're gonna build this rising fighter. So we're gonna get this. Let's, I should have the actual crafting material in, in the blacksmith shop, but I do not. Uh, we need strength. Uh, excuse me, strength. We'll grab the metal scraps, grab that. Wow, actually we've got a considerable amount of goodies here. We've got some good stuff here, chat. All right, um, boom, boom, doo, 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 doo. How do I not have, wait, what? The actual fuckaroo. Right, I know why. Because I went and put all my logs into the freaking, okay, you know what, That that's fine, that's on me. <laughs> Shit. Oh boy. We're having a day, chat, we're having a day. I'm looking for, I want to, I want, I'm really looking forward to seeing that big pink. The Supra? I think the big pink theme is perfect for the Supra. Or a Porsche. Alright, so now that I got this figured out. <laughs> oh my god. Brand new games chat, am I right? Alright, so we got it figured out. It's all good. It happens. Okay, um, how much wood do we have? Yeah, we'll just keep going and get a little bit more. Why not? Cut some more trees down. Yeah, this is fine. So, you're all lucky because initially I was going to, if, if this had kept doing its stupid shit, we were just going to jump back into Valheim and I was going to show you what I'd been building. Because I started a new building last night in the, um, in the instance I have built for uh, specifically for stream. Uh, because I was saying, need a new building. There we go. Okay. How much resin do I have currently? Yeah, okay. Let's grab another, one more tree. Let's grab one more. Hi, Canadian Gamer, how you doing? But yeah, um, I find it funny that I just went in, changed like two sliders. Haha. -ha. And the game all of a sudden, it's like, yeah, so uh, this is working fine. All right, Rising Fighter Shield, let's go. All right, I can, oh, we can enhance equipment? Oh, let's go. What do I need to enhance this? No upgradable, what do you mean no upgradable items? What do I need for this? Oh, I need room, oh. Okay, I need ruins, do I? All right, all right. I think we can do this. Uh, we're gonna equip that. We're gonna delete that, okay. So we need those ruins to be able to do the enhancement. So, let's... Yeah, buddy. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna take the 210 ruins that we have been toting around with us. Uh, right. Do that. Uh, we'll throw that, 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 and that in there. Okay. And I'm gonna go with the spike club, I think, today. Enhance equipment. Okay. Uh, 
Um, right. Precise. Oh. Oh. Woo. Cutting damage. All right. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, before we go, we'll just make sure everything's prepared. Okay, we're good. Okay, we're good. Getting ambitious tonight. Trying my hand at Mahi. What? Do you, what wait, 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 wait. Big brown turd theme from any Mercedes one? No. I would never drop. No, that's terrible. That's what I wanted. Okay. All right, we're looking like a uh, right pro. Oh, hold on, hold on. You know, one last thing. I just realized. I swear to. I, I promise you, I don't have ADHD, but I'm starting to. I'm starting to act like I have ADHD brain. This is a problem. Grappling hook. What do I need? Metal scraps for shroud spores. Okay, the only thing we're missing is a metal scrap. Wait. Are we though? No, we are not because. Oh, there we go. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold the freaking phone. What do you mean you're trying mahi mahi? Please explain. Yeah, uh, the last, well, last three days. Oh shit, I need, how many shroud spores do I need for that? 10, okay. And I need string? Yes, seven string, 10 shroud spores, all right. Oh, you're, wait, 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 wait. If it's not from Hawaii, it's just Dorado? Oh, you're cooking mahi-mahi. Interesting. Yeah. Shroud spores. There we go. Okay. Let's get that in there. We'll get our grappling hook done. Trapped. Boom. Done. All right. Uh, item equipped. See equipment menu. All right. That works. So this is where we're headed. We're going to clear the elixir well. We're finally heading there. Uh, we've already got the small flint mine. Uh, we can now do uh, better traversal just because we've only found, we've only got, I can have four active altars. Ooh, I didn't know that. That's kind of cool. Right, so we're going to clear the, the well here. Story of rot, flame shine, flame shine. Okay, so I can have four active altars. I did not know that and I'm gonna have to keep that in mind Cheap and cheaper than salmon at the moment. I mean, that's kind of a big selling point. I'll be honest <laughs> Folks if you're just joining us. Hi, welcome. Hope you're having a great Friday. Thanks for being here Um, Let's yeah, I gotta drop that stuff into Right, so that is nice. Brutal, precise, fire magic, fire magic. Because we have an epic bow. And I do have this legendary ring at plus 3% life, life leech. I'm like, damn, let's go. All right, uh, let's get this. All back in here. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, that can go there. Thank you. We got 23 wooden arrows, 34 flint, and two scrap arrow. All right. Uh, what are we sitting at? 22 minutes. We're well rested now with everything that we've got. You know, it'd be nice if they showed. Um. All right, let's go. Let's go kick some something's ass here really quick. 
Can we find? Oh, there we go. That'll work. And shrouded, and we won't we have six minutes? Yeah. Yeah, we have six minutes in the shroud. Yeah, we've already. Uh, so for those who are just joining us, I've already upgraded the flame altar uh, to get us that six minutes time in the shroud. Spicy. Well, I did not expect that to happen. I'll we'll take that too. Uh, there appears to be a doorway here. Yep. I didn't even know that was a door, I'll be honest. Special. All right, what do we got? Loot, loot, loot. I didn't even know there was a chest down here. I will take a couple of extra. Yeah, sure. I'll take that. Who needs a torch, chat? Hey, metal scraps. That's that's a good one to have, actually. Wait, what? Yo, Spice Stoner, Stoner, what order what order did you get in? Okay, so these do give metal scraps based off of the damage type you use. That's something else I'm noticing too. out here in a minute. Yeah, you gotta get it. All right. Let's get out of here before I end up freaking suffocating. So ghost chili hot honey, two hot sauces, they threw in a 3D printed hot sauce holster? Wait, what do you mean they threw in a holster? What do you mean they threw in a holster? Okay, so this is all already enhanced as much as it's gonna get. It's a thing. Think holster, but not for hot sauce to, but for hot, really? I'll be honest. I would never ever consider taking, um, hot sauce with me anywhere. The place I'm going to doesn't have it. I'll be like, all right, that's fine. You know, I'm not, I, and just, just to be, just, just so we're clear. I'm not coming down on anybody who would actually take hot sauce with them either, though. If you have to take hot sauce anywhere, you probably also like skinny. Nah, that's not true. 
that's not true. I know a lot of people who love hot sauce, um, and a lot of places don't have good hot sauce for your food. I love hot sauce too, but it is definitely a thing. Think, think of the, think of all the places that you've been to and there have been food that you've eaten and you'd be like, you know, this is pretty weak. It could, it, it needs a little punch. Like the food itself is like, eh, you know, it's, it's pretty, it was pretty kind of like, eh. And you're like, you know, just a, just a splash of something would be good, and but the place doesn't actually have anything, you know? I, I, I totally see where that's coming from, right? Try that. Try that. Oh, who gives a shit? I don't care. <laughs> I'd do it. I'm not saying I'm going to start caring. Now, again, like, I'm not... I know there are people out there, they love hot sauce, and I get that. I love hot. I love spicy, but I also I also do know that not everything needs hot and spicy. Not everything is improved with hot sauce. Um, so something I'm kind of noticing, by the way. Give to a Michelin star and whip out hot sauce. I'd laugh yet. I mean, I'd do it. You know what? I'd probably do it just to be an asshole. I would do that just to be an asshole. Hundred percent. I would. I'd do it just to be a dick, just to be an asshole. Yo, you know what this needs? Hot sauce. <laughs> because sometimes you just gotta listen. Sometimes you just gotta, you know, slap the shit out of somebody pompous, just because. And I'll be honest, some of the some of the meals that you normally get from that stuff can be improved with hot sauce. <laughs> Cause some of that stuff is freaking bland as fuck. Oh! There some of that is bland. Bland. I have eaten in some pretty nice places, and some of that. Yes, I have eaten at a Michelin place, and I'm gonna tell you, some of that food is bland as fuck. No, I, I've I've had food that blows the brain, but I've also had food that is like my mom. My mom's mac and cheese is better. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who you're trying to fool. Like you calling this food, and it, it ain't the dog's food smells better. You know. Level five, there we go. I can legitimately say I've had that experience as well. Oh. Oh, ow. Get wrecked, bitch. Michelin, I, I'll be honest, like myself personally, I don't think Michelin star carries, carries the weight it once did. One star, meh, two G's, three, always worth a try. I've been in a couple of th uh, I've been in a couple of threes that the food has been absolutely fantastic. Like hands down, some of the best food I've ever had, and that's in a three. Right. You know what? We're gonna take that because I'm gonna break that down. One of the, I'll say this though, one of the worst steaks, one of the worst steak experiences. Sorry, I shouldn't say steak. One of the worst beef experiences I've ever had was at a four star in Toronto. Worst. Worst freaking 
absolute freaking worst. Terrible. Four star or three star, four star, whatever. You know what I mean. Three, three, three. You know what I mean. Slider knows what I mean. Yeah, there is no, no, you're right. I had to think about that for a second. I'm like, no, I don't remember there being, no. Worst beef experience. It was like some weird prime rib thing. It was just the beef, like the meat wasn't even freaking fully like It was effectively raw, and don't get me wrong, I love a good steak done blue. If the cut of meat is right. But this... Yeah, highway mobile data, crunchy slow, I mean... What was it called? I don't even remember. I'm talking, we're talking like freaking 16, 17 years ago now. Can't be that many. Well, that's what I mean. Like it was like 16 or 17. It'd be, it'd be a three star. It'd be a three S three star. But yeah, it was like 16, 17 years ago. Downtown Toronto though. I'm talking, we're talking Toronto. So, again, major metropolitan area. Yes. Yeah, it was, I was living in Toronto at the time. Thankfully, I wasn't paying for the food. <laughs> I didn't buy, I didn't pay for the damn meal. Oh, God damn it. Fucking bees, man. Fuck, oh, oh. Oh, one shot at the bees. Dad knows how to do it now. You know how you one shot bees, chat? You know how you one shot bees in this? I'll tell you, fire arrows. One shot bees, fire arrows. One single arrow took out three swarms of bees in one shot. There are no longer 15 two star. I mean, that's not bad, I guess. There's 15 two star? What? Damn. All right, here's a question. Because you're familiar, Slider. What would a, what would have to happen to a, a location to lose its star rating? No, that is still amazing. That's a one two star, one two star, 14 one star. Okay. What would happen? What would have to? So maybe I'm, maybe I'm probably incorrect on the, the star rating. Fireflies. Oh, um, what would have to happen to a location for them to lose a star rating? Drop off and food changes and menu changes in format, head chef fallout. So effectively anything that could drastically um, affect a restaurant overall. It's an entire division, yeah. Ooh! That works. You know what? The bow works way better now. You know how it works better? Uh, we upgraded it. Or, sorry, enhanced it. Enhancement! All right, uh, that's what we're gonna do. Squirrel! Your two star is a sushi place? Oh, see, that, that wouldn't matter to me now because I don't like sushi. Yeah, I said it. I don't like sushi. I'm sorry. F fish shouldn't, should not be served to me raw. No. <laughs> no. No sushi. Not a fan.
canoe looks amazing. Ooh, wait. Oh. Yeah, so the TD Bank Towers. Yeah, that place is... Very spendy. <laughs> very spendy. Sorry, I go for more of the... Uh, I'm thrifty. Very thrifty. <laughs> I'm not eating fast food, but you know. Smoked venison heart tart. Okay, now that one, listen, I am not big on eating the heart of anything. Oh shit! Well, that was a mistake. I did not mean to slap that bait. Actually, you know what? I'm kind of, That's kind of funny. I don't even know where that dude came from. There's a food cart in Hong Kong, Thailand that has a... Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a food cart in Hong Kong or Thailand that has a star. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> That's actually kind of insane. Kind of insane. Just goes to show you though, good food cart. Or like the, the whole idea of like a food truck can really go a long way. All right, here we go. Singapore, anyone can win them if you sell it and can drive there. It lo- wait, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Anyone can win them if you sell it and can drive there. It lost it, what? It lost its star? So there was a location in Hong Kong that had a star rating and then it lost its star. Now you were saying so slider you 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 said in the past that you actually have friends who are chefs Plintero Ooh like that Michelin like that works in the same uh, SF under every big chef you can name Usually sat at a bar at bar and got fed pricey. Pl yeah, I can imagine that's got to be pricey. I can't imagine that being cheap at all. Give me your life, you bastard. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Scrap. Scrap. I'm fine. Alrighty. Let's get ready to rumble. We're gonna... <clears throat> Right, so we're here, we need to be here. <gasps> okay, so that means we need to go to this flame shrine. Thomas Keller, Boulevard, French Launder. Flashback taste is 100% real. Two to three K in an ugly f Whoa, 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 what? Mistakes were made. Uh, 
Ha-ha! Eat a dick, bud. <laughs> Your walls mean nothing to me. Alright, so that's the ancient spires. That's a small flint mine. Um, I need up there. Fuck. Actually, you know what? Do, 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 do. So, I picked up a ton. I'm also good at monkey see, monkey do, so I cooked with them a lot. Picked up a ton to the point where they've asked me to work on the line with them. Yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> anybody who's ever watched any kind of professional cooking show would be like, uh, nope. Listen, I, I'm, uh, I'm the first one to be like, nah. Nah, fam. <laughs> nope. God, this game is beautiful. Entry level line cook to train versus friend who listens. One easier to manage. Uh, you know, valid. Very valid. Very valid. I am very spicy the last couple of days. Uh, let's get in here. Let's go to character skills. We have two points. Uh, warrior's path when attacking with a melee weapon, all damage is increased by 2%. Um, we're gonna throw that. There we go. Boom. Done. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, 10% more damage. Thank you. Definitely get more used to the traversal mechanic in this. <laughs> Man, I can cover some ground with that uh, with that squirrel suit. Ooh, I like it. It's very spicy. Oh, nope. We're not definitely not going down there. Nope. And tried it. Oh, what in the sweet Jesus is that? What in the name of Cthulhu is that? Chat. Uh, for some reason, I feel like we're... Okay, so arrows don't do shit. Can I cut it down with a... Yep, there we go. Okay. Yeah, let's go. And the shroud is gone. Yay. Chat, we did it. Get wrecked. <laughs> it's wha whack its ass. That's pretty much... I miss being so close, but the leases have gotten so pricey that the new concepts have gotten smaller and now are out of out of my way in the economic suburb suburban centers. Um, so Slider, I'm gonna ask you because you seem like the, the person what are like what are your what have your experiences been with regards to um like fusion? Hi Caitlin, how are you? Like with like, good, bad, like, what are your, I guess really what I'm asking is what are your thoughts on the whole, like, trying to fuse two different types of food together kind of thing, right? Like, two different, um, could be doing better. Oh, what's wrong? Works great when well done. Or done well, yeah, okay, that's kind of what I thought. Okay, so we got rid of the first shroud root. That's kind of a big deal. Italians didn't have native tomatoes. So I guess Italian food technically was... Wait, you would classify... Okay, we... Ooh, we have another point, huh? I need two more. Shit. Strength. Increase your strength. We could do that. 
Oh, we're unlocking that. Yeah, we're gonna throw a little more strength in there. Strength six, let's go. Means I can whack things harder. So it's literal North American Italy fusion. You know what? I didn't even think of that. That's kind of crazy. I didn't even think of that, man. I wonder how many people actually don't know, like, n even know that though, right? All food and language that way. No, you know what? That, that actually makes perfect sense. And yes, Caitlin, you're right. Like, it can suck. It's a bipolar person. I know damn well how much that can suck. I'm part of, okay, so I'm, I'm going to be like absolutely 100% real with everyone right now. I think part of the reason why I have been the way I've been the last couple of days is because I know that I've been tracking the, the down curve recently, right? So and I think it's just kind of, it's kind of finally kind of sunk in for me. That makes sense. But we're going to definitely take the bandage. Uh, this looks like it was a, like, military bunk. That makes sense. Take the metal scraps, thank you. Oh. And the water, always with the water. You know what? Let's try this instead. Yep, that worked. Okay. That's just... Unfortunately, it's... It's not so... So, Caitlin, it's not so much about being done with things. It's just... Sometimes you have to know when to step away from stuff for a little bit, right? And just... And that's a, that's quite okay. Sometimes you just have to walk away from stuff and... It sucks, but it's kind of kind of the deal of being a grown-ass adult. Oh. Dog's being a bit of a jerk again. Fur... Ah, the fur patch, really? Oh, hi! Oh, fuck that. Nope! Freaking spider, spiders in the dark, chat. That's what that was. That was spiders in the dark. That's all right. Sometimes that happens. Yeah, exactly. Get it out. Then simple answers and steps. Yeah. Find a way to change the things that are, are upsetting you in that fashion, right? Like, there's always a way to make the change. You just have to figure out how to, how best to approach it. But get it out of your system first. Right. What Slider says is correct. You got to get it out of your system first, right? Because if you're holding on to that uh, that discomfort and that pain, 
you can't find solutions if you're holding on to all of that, right? Excuse me? Clear the elixir well. Oh. I'm not even- oh, I'm nowhere even- okay, you know what? We're not even close to where I need to be. Yep, panic to move on. Yep, panic and sadness get get no, and it's true. It doesn't. Slider, slider speaks true. Panic to move on. Yet, take a few seconds. Well, the the other thing is though is Caitlin. I think that comes from allowing instead of looking for self validation, you're allowing how other people look at uh, view you. Um, to, like, that, that's, you're allowing others validation of you to affect how you are, right? And that's, that can be very dangerous, I guess, the best way to put it. Oh, it's family, oh, it's family, oh, okay. All right, that's different. All right, no, that's totally different. Sorry, my, my misunderstanding. That's my misunderstanding, I'm sorry. Alright, we got a spark. Is that... Okay, chat, I don't want to go down into that. It's family health, right, okay. Yeah, that, that, okay, that's a totally different situation. Uh, that is 100% a completely different, completely different situation altogether, right? Right, um... Scavengers. Oh God, what is that? <laughs> Ow. Sorry, I didn't mean to sneeze in everybody's ear, but oh my God, what the hell is that thing? Okay, yeah. All right. Yeah, you're you're yeah, we already know your auntie can be a a bit much. Uh what on earth is happening here? Wow, this is, uh, holy crap. What are these, like, tra they, these look like traps, chat. Right, so it's getting dark. Half of us won't make it to 68. Hey, I plan on being around a lot longer than that. I'll be honest. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, where are we on the map? Uh, nowhere. Well, we're close to Love Letter Queen Jasmina. 
We all plan on it. That ain't the problem. Listen, I will fight tooth and nail. <laughs> Make sure that I don't. That I'm still here. I'm going to outlive everybody. I'm going to be 100 and I'll still be here. That's how that shit's going to work. There's there There are no other options. No other options. I'm still here at, at 100. That, that's, that's my mindset on it. 100 sounds exhausting past. Nah, I'm good. I'm alright with it. Um. Alright, uh, let's see. Okay, we're gonna airdrop in, chat. Dad's gonna airdrop in. We're gonna airdrop at night, by the way. <laughs> I just realized that. We're going into enemy territory at a very dangerous point. Nighttime. Yes, I know the locate. I oh, God. Um, okay, well, this is terrible. Can't see. You know what? We're going to salvage that. Chad, do you know what dad didn't bring with him? Torch. But that's fine because we can craft a torch. So we're crafting a torch, chat. Because we need one. Because I can't even see my dick in front of my hand. Okay? That's how dark it is. Can't see my own dick in front of my hand. Yeah, that's right. You heard me. <laughs> Caitlin's like, excuse me? I said what I said. I'm not even taking it back either. I totally said what I said. Oh, Jesus Christ. Scared the shit out of me. Woo. Yeah, no takesies backsies. Not taking it back. Nope. I said what I said. It's fine. Right, uh, we're gonna- we're gonna wait until- <laughs> Oh, come on! Yeah, no, you heard that right. 100%. I'm not even... No, heard it right. I said what I said. <laughs> not even embarrassed about it. You know what? We're going to get rid of that. We're going to delete that. Uh, because we need to go here and I need to construct a campfire. So we're now going to come over here. We're going to take that. We're going to throw that in there. And we're going to do numero uno four... We're going to light ourselves a wee little campfire in a nice little pit. Right. Okay. Step one complete. Step two. I'm going to do this. We're going to get real close in the hole. There we go. I'll cook us a wee bit of wolf meat up. Okay, let's uh you know what we're gonna we're gonna delete that because I don't know why we have the damn books. The books are useless, the screen door is on a submarine. Uh that's right, I said it. We're gonna throw the healing potion. What is that? Elixir buff plus 30% damage multiplier, minus one minute maximum time in the shroud. Not worth it. We're gonna get rid of that because it's just twigs. Metal scrap, we're gonna keep. We're gonna get rid of those because we're not using them. We'll get rid of the fur patch because, again, not using it. Right. Okay. Um, we'll get rid of the torch now, too. Don't need it. Perfect. 
Right ho, right ho. Legendary Spock. So we're just gonna sit here for for a little bit, cause. All right, all right. So that's good. You need to laugh. Um, you know this game needs a needs a, a clock. <laughs> I need a clock, chat. Clock in the game, so I know game time, roughly. Instead of this. I mean, look, we're yet. Yeah, see, we're sitting real close. We're sitting in the hole with the fire. We're getting that rested. I mean, the rested bonus isn't much, but you know. Go to the shop? No. There's where? What does it? Do I look like I'm in a in a heavily lo, uh, you know built up area where there's a shop? There's no shop here. None. Not a single one. I gotta, all right. Oh, the new glasses are starting to look my eyes. It's getting used to the, the new pupil distance, so I'm gonna, I was told not to use the, uh, the new ones. Three hour walk, there are no shops. <laughs> That's the unfortunate part of this. There are no shops anywhere. There's no civilization. Alright, so new glasses. Again, it's the uh, the pupil distance has changed it was changed a little bit on these ones, so on the new ones, so I've gotta be Oh. Alright, there we go. So because new glasses, gotta change I can't I can't use the new ones consistently yet. I gotta work up to it. I guess that that's the best way. I can only just cope with, cope with Minecraft as a survival game. <laughs> this one. Well, at least I don't, you know, the nice thing about this, I don't have to worry about, uh... Other than the fact I do have to worry about wolves and such. Oh, wait, there- oh, what the f Okay. There's this whole location here. That I can barely see diddly squat. Uh, let's do... Yeah, so, uh, hacks enabled. So I can have night vision and see what the hell is going on. Oh, this isn't a cult at all. No, th this isn't a cult location at all. Nope, no cults. No cults here. None. No cults. What are these owl bear looking mother truckers? It won't let me jump. You actually can't stand on the top of these. Oh, who knew? Ancient vault hunter. Oh, oh, we are way out of our league then. We haven't even completed the first, first elixir well. Nope. Yeah, and remember, not a cult. Gonna take all the animal furs. All of them. Wow, they uh, really. This place has really gone to hell, hasn't it? Flask of the Fell. Consumable. 
Plus 20 stamina, the shroud grants power to not only the fell, but to whoever drinks from this flask. Increase stamina by 20. Wow. Um, okay. Ooh. That's pretty spicy. That is very spicy. All right, uh, let's see what else we can find. So this is a vault. How many? We've got four bandages. All right. We do have health regen gear now, so it's not so bad, I guess. I'm an, oh, you know what? No, that that's terrible. Trying to jump into there in the dark. Come on, bud. Oh, God damn. Okay, whoa, whoa, you're bringing friends? All right, hey. Oh, no, you don't. No healing. No healing allowed, bro. Nah, -uh. no, no heal, no heals. We just... Well, it's morning. That's, that's good. Ish. Barber, you're like, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? Yeah, it's like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Did I? Yeah. Club, club, club. Slapped them around with a giant stick. Spiked club, no less. Okay, you know what? Can can we get a little more daylight in here? Aziz, light! I know Two Slider can appreciate that one. Aziz, light! Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, I'm sorry. Did, did did that require did what you're doing require concentration? Okay, we're we're gonna get we're yeah, we're gonna get the increased stamina regen here from that is a big ass fire. That's a very nice hat. Yeah, Aziz, oh, thank you, Aziz. Aziz, very good. Aziz <laughs> Ain't you like <laughs> Oh the fifth element such a fantastic movie You know what we're gonna screw this we're doing well we're still here we're still alive we're still in one piece I'm gonna continue to do what we're doing. Oh, 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 more loot. I mean, we got some ice bolt. Okay. Ah, uh, bro. This does not look very safe to me, bro. No. All right, this is a vault, but. Uh, sir, I mean, our gears. Oh, what in the feathery fuck is this? Right, um. Yes, I said what I said, okay? And I, I have no regrets. No regrets about saying it. <laughs> Um, that man's is clearly dead. You know what? We're going to, we're going to try an experiment chat. You down for some experimentation? Okay. Well, that's not working. 
Nope, that's not working either. Right, um, shit. Woo! It's gonna get spicy. Oh, damn. Okay, you know what? Obviously. Oh. Well, uh, really? Fur patch? Oh, come on. You guys can't do better with the loot? Please. Please, loot tables in here are terrible. I mean, resin and stone, huh? I will take the resin. Stone, I wasn't too worried about. Mana potion. Okay, well, we'll definitely take that. What do we got over here? Fur patch. Hi, not slime. And I thought sparks were dangerous. <laughs> Your favorite Lieber laugh when you said, "What in the fairy fuck is this?" I'm glad you guys are watching. I hope she's having a better day today. All right, let's Jesus. Um, great. I love puzzles. Puzzles are great. Fucking puzzles. Yay, puzzles. And what do we got over on this side? Nux life wants you to kill three enemies. Do I look, sir? Do I look like I'm somewhere where I have enemies currently available to me? Yeah, for, yeah, you what? You got a problem with my fur patch? Uh, apparently I'm not allowed, what? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I need to find two more switches? Heard a streamer say, oh, say once, what in the cinnamon toast fuck is this? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Here I, you come in and I'm like, what in the feathery fuck is this? It's because we've been dealing with whatever these weird owl bear things. I didn't... Sir, you need to call Hakuna your Tata, sir. Thank God for having my grappling hook. We wouldn't be doing this if I hadn't built that grappling hook, by the way. Not slide? I swear to God, sir. Nope. I'm gonna come over there and kick you in the nuts. You heard me. I said, I'll come over there and kick you in the nuts. And then you won't be a nuts life. It'll just be life. Enough with... I... I don't trust automatic opening doors here. <laughs> I think you can try. Yeah, uh, I'm not going in there right now. Nope. Mm-mm. Automated, automated doors? Nuh-uh, sure not. Not gonna do it, Bobby. Not fucking happening. Nuh-uh there, bud. Okay, we're, you know what, I guess... I, life says, uh -huh. I'll automate you? Ooh. Ooh. Is that a promise? You're going, you're going to automate me? I mean, wow. I think we're in the hunter location way before we're supposed to be, but you know what? I really don't care. I don't care. Uh, Awaken Survivor. Drive fur plus one more at drying rack. Oh, baby. All right. Well, we've got another survivor. Scout. Oh, let's go. Dried fur. So the wonderful thing is, I don't know wonderful thing about tickers is the tickers are a wonderful thing. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, hey, look, we're outside. Okay, well, we... Yeah, I'm just wandering around these ruins, breaking everything I can find, because, you know, stone. Blah, stone. Boo! Um... 
Hmm. Okay, there's gotta be a way up there. Seriously? Is there no, no grappling point? God damn it, Bobby. All right, come on, there. All right, so there's always hidden things in these vaults. So that's what I'm currently kind of checking for is like, is there anything hidden in here? Okay, there we go. <laughs> there's a little block. Oh, there we go. Oh, let's go. Okay. Freaking knew there was something else in here. Had to be. Twig, twig. Whoa, 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 easy. Oh, uh, flange! Yeah, get all the, the, the old hashtag flange. Hashtag flanges. Uh, huh. Well, we've got a nice gliding point down from here, so there's that. Holy hell, this map. This map is insane. All right, uh, what can we get rid of? We're going to get rid of the twigs. We're going to keep that. We're going to get rid of the fur patch. Dried fur. After drying the animal fur on the drying rack, it becomes sturdier and more durable for a longer period of time. Nice. That is definitely a win as far as I'm concerned. Um, all right, let's pop nom some food, damage bonus, and health increase. Boom, done. Uh, let's have a quick look around here. All right, so that is. How far down does that go? I do believe that actually is down into the central chamber where the uh, vault, where the main vault was. So let's see what we got in here first. Scorching one. Ooh, yes, please. Let's go. All right. And that's upgradable. So grab some more of that stone. Got anything good in there? Nope. Open that up for the other side. I'm definitely getting some um, Breath of the Wild vibes from this, though. This is quite pretty. This is very pretty. And I like it, yeah. Aha! Alright, so that takes care of that. I didn't see a second button anywhere, though. And that is a massive problem. Okay. Uh, figuring out the puzzles. I sometimes don't enjoy puzzles in my games. But sometimes I do enjoy puzzle games, which... I know, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but yeah, here we are. Right, so we hit the one button over here. Where then? We've got that one. Where's the, uh, where's the next button? Excuse me, sir. Sir, sir, where's the... Uh can I actually, let's see, can we, no, once you hit it, you hit it. That's it. It's a one and done. Shit. All right. That means that there's got to be another location with, oh, oh, that's spicy. All right. Let's avoid the spice. 
All right, let's have a quick look around and see. Is there? It's not. A wow, the bloom in this is really hard on the eyes sometimes. So it's got to be attached wherever these buttons are. It has to be attached to the central tower Point is where in the hell Nothing here all right, oh keep looking We'll just keep looking until we find something that resembles. Yeah. Nothing up there. I'm really enjoying the verticality in this, so. Folks, if you're just joining us, welcome. I'm your host, Scott, this is the arcade. Happy Friday, everyone. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for stopping in. Uh, as you can see, we're messing around in Entrada. We just unlocked the hunter. Uh, so at some point we're gonna We're gonna have to head back to uh, our main base. Back to our main location. Uh, the issue that I'm trying to rectify right now is there is a chest locked behind a door that requires three buttons to be pushed. Well, out of those three, I've only found one. A few rounds of Cipro fix it right up. <laughs> it was Voldemort, I swear. Are you still pretending to be a hairy wizard? Oh. Oh, wow. I did not expect. Oh, shit. They can jump. I was not expecting that. Madra. I'm gonna just beat the snot out of you. Take your stuff that looks like tents down there. I'm <laughs> just totally cheesing the hell out of this. Oh my god. Expect us, why burn us? Who's Voldemort? You know, it wouldn't surprise me if it was Voldemort. So, mystery is, we've got the hunter out of the vault. That's fantastic. The mystery is though, how do I get that chest that's in there? Because we only have found one button that was has been pushed. There's still two more missing. I don't know where they are, but they've got to be relatively close. Well, we're not getting jumped in here, so that's a bonus. Mm, no. I'm wondering, it's... Ah. Uh, you know what? All right, this is what we're gonna do. Uh, we are going to fast travel to the last visited altar. We're gonna turn turn some goodies in here really quick. I love that commune with the flame. The hunter is alive. Perhaps she can reveal a thing or two about survival in the shrouded lands. Uh, I'm guessing that means that we're gonna have to talk to the hunter. You know what? That's uh, that's fine. So let's let's do a couple of things first. Uh, let's throw that in there. Cloth in there. All right, we're doing well on metal scraps, ruins, yep. Throw the wood in there too. Uh, what is the critter? You know what, I'm just, we're just gonna delete the critter parts for now because that sounds wrong on a completely different level that I'm not comfortable with. Scorching wand level three, apprentice wand mid-range level four. Uh, we're gonna swap that out for that. Mm, 
mana potion, health potion, greater health. Right, get rid of that. Get rid of the stone. I mean, we're saving up the ice bolts. As you guys can see, we've got a considerable amount of like the heal channel. We've got fireball, we've got ice bolt. Oh, we've got five sparks sitting here now, so we're doing well on that. Uh, you know what? Let's get that in there. Um, throw this and this down there. Uh, we're gonna do this and then that. Okay. Now, my organization might not make a lot of sense to some, and that's fine. That's fine. It doesn't have to make sense to you. <laughs> it makes sense to me. Uh, there we go, with the honey and the wax. And you know what, we're gonna throw the raw lean meat in there. We've got grill, so we've got some neat box labels. Oh, hell no! I know what's in my boxes. Why, why are we talking? Why? Don't need box labels. I know what's in there. And it shows what's in there. This one's food. Weapons, armor, upgrade material, crafting material, and building material. Sir. <laughs> All right, everything's fixed. This guy needs to shut his pie hole right now. Um, what can this man's craft? Whole lot of nothing right now because we're not carrying anything around with us. A. Hey. Uh, let's go grab. We need the staff to be able to summon. So let's grab that. All right. We have the summoning staff. And I think we're going to summon into here. Yeah, we'll summon into here. We're gonna. There we go. Hey. Aha! All right. What can she tell us? Uh, surviving together. I've survived long enough to know when there are others like me. We need to do more than persevere. We must settle down, grow crops, revive the land. There's a place I remember. Another ancient vault was built. You should search it. Okay, finding salt. There's many things we lack. Without a steady, steady supply of salt, I'm salty. There's plenty of salt. We're good. We're good. I can supply all the salt that this the, the hunter needs. All the salt. Um, it'll be challenging to per, uh, preserve fur. I might not be from here, but I know the land well. Here, I'll mark a location for gathering salt in your journal. Don't disappoint. Let's go. All right, what can we, uh, what can we crap? Dried fur, string, torn cloth, backpacks. We can now craft our own arrows. So we've got scrap arrows, special arrows. Scouting ahead can be quite challenging, especially in the dark. The flare arrow leaves a flare at the point of impact, spending spending a little light. Wow. How many do you get for that, though? Oh, 10. All right. Drying rack. Use the salt to conserve furs for further usage. Place near a hunter. Animal furs. Fur patch and string. So I can use fur patch and string. Okay. Resin torch. Level two torch, wax torch, level three. I'm guessing this very durable, long lasting source of light made from wax. Equip this before starting your expeditions into the unknown. A scout set. String dried fur and bones. Level eight, 12 stamina. A simple light chest piece is to complement the rest of the armor. Holy crap, silent pants to tread quietly plus two range damage okay 11 range critical strike oh come on this is good and now we've got extra stuff for comfort 
Big straw mat. Okay, so we've got fur rug. You need drive fur for that. Plant fiber for the straw mat furniture. Plus one. Plus one. All right. Giggity. Nice. Production place, though. So drying rack. Wood logs and string. We need 10 wood logs. Okay, so we're going to craft one of these. Because we're going to need that. Be the hunter, not the hunted. Be the hunter, not the hunted. I mean, that makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Right. Uh, we're going to put the summoning staff away because we no longer need it. And boom. Done. Perfect. Uh, where is... There we go. Wood. And... Thring. Okay. Let's build us a drying rack. Let's not squander our time. Listen, lady. Just relax, okay? Thank you. Um... Oh, 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 whoa. Right. That's better. I'm like, excuse me. All right, what do we put in this? Dried purple berry. When conserved, the dry, uh, dried purple berry do not regenerate as much health as purple berries. However, the duration lasts longer. Oh, browse recipes. What do we got? Dried fur. Dried purple berry. Well, so we can actually dry food as well. Good to know. That is very good to know. Um, all right. What can we wax torch? Um, we need twigs, torn cloth, resin, and wax. We have all of this stuff, so we're going to grab, we're going to make one torch out of this stuff. One. One torch out of this. Uh, wax. Because it's natural. So we're just going to grab that, right? Resin. No, resin is the next one over. Uh, we'll grab those two, just because I'm going to need that. Um, twigs. Cloth. And where's our string? We'll grab the string. I didn't put the string back in there. Okay. Good. All right. right. Uh, we're going to craft one. There we go. Boom. Done. Everything's repaired. And let's go to enhance. Executioner's axe has already been enhanced. Yeah, yeah. Scorching wand. Oh my God! There we go. All right. Break a leg. Uh, yeah, we're gonna break several legs. Just. <laughs> oh boy. And last but not least, four. Yeah, let's get some food into us. And we're good. All right. Uh, before I forget, what is this? This is Shroud Survival. Plus two minimum, mi two, plus two minute maximum time in the sh And that's good for 45 minutes. All right, here we go. I mean, you can howl all you want, you son of a bitch. I ain't interested right now. Right. We've got our grappling hook. We've got the... Oh, shit! Oh, that was dangerous as hell. 
I thought we were dead. I thought for sure I was going to die. I legitimately thought we were dead. Jesus. I forgot using the grappling hook and using the glider requires stamina. We were out of stamina at the time. That 100% was on me though. Okay, where? So I do have to go up and down and around, all right. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. That, that could have sucked a lot more than it did. That 100% could have gone way worse than it did. We didn't die. That's the important part. I, my heart sank. I actually thought we were going to die there. All right. So we're heading into, again, we're heading into the danger zone here at nighttime because, you know, why not? God damn, what the hell was that? Whoa, sir. I don't think so. Okay, so the return beacons. Oh, that's good to know. I didn't know that. Okay, so we're just we're just gonna take a minute here. Only because the highway goes there. What you mean? Can we summon the Smithy to help us? Smithy needs a mute button. <laughs> I mean, right? Highway to hell? Factually correct. Alright, well, it's good to know that that actually does allow me ooh, to survive a little bit longer. Let's not get too dangerous there. Sir. Whew. That rusty short sword is kind of location above, location below. What? Make up your damn mind. How do I get up there? Sir. How in the actual... Great, I'm glad that I've reached the location, but it says it's above me. How do... Oh, God damn. Where'd that come from? Sir. How is it? Oh, there is no flipping way. That's got to be a mapping issue. That's got to be some weird game glitch or something. Take the mycelium. Oh. Oh. Oh, well. Uh, no. That's kind of, that's kind of nasty. All right, so how do we get up there then? It says it's above me, but I don't see. 
Right, so the elixir well, apparently... That can't be right. It's got to be down below. It has to be. Switch that over. We're going to throw that up. Yeah. Uh-huh. There's the root. That's not above. That's below, you bastards. Tell me it's above when it's not above. Oh, do that. Um, shit, how do I- oh god. Right, okay. Um... Let's go. I mean, that's not effective for that, but you know. Well, that takes care of this. Holy Hannah. Those things can suck it, by the way. Okay. They're going to get rid of, clear all this stupid crap out of here. All right, well, that takes care of the shroud in this area. Should proper, fully take care of the shroud in this area. Yeah, so as you can see, I don't, I'm not, I'm not actually classified as in, in the shroud now. Because we've gotten rid of the root. Okay, you know what? Sometimes fire doesn't work for everything. Take the trap arrows and the bandage. What in the actual hell is that? You know what? Let's, uh, let's explore this. Is it Dark Souls? I mean, are you sure? Kind of seems like Dark Souls. It has some kind of weird... Really? All right. Well, apparently we can't do that. How about this? That out. Uh, that works though. Okay, fine. Are you sure? Are you absolutely one hundred percent sure that this is not Dark Souls? I mean, I don't know. I'm start. I'm starting to seriously lean towards Dark Souls. 
Zero out of ten. Can't fat roll to smash jars. Game broken. Please fix. I'm okay. You know what? Fair. That that that, that is a fair assessment. Can confirm fair assessment. Ah, uh, not kidding about this lighting the place up though. Holy crap. All right, the wax torch works wonders. So we've actually gotten quite a bit done already today. We've uh, gotten rid of our, technically we've gotten rid of two shroud roots. Uh, we've cleared the shroud from the elixir well. So that's, that's a plus. Uh, we've already hit the second vault and unlocked the hunter, which I wasn't expecting to do that one. That one was just kind of like, that, that was a fluke. Was not expecting to get that one. Absolute fluke. And we're finding all kinds of goodies. Forest longbow. I mean, I'll take it, but I'm not really... I'll be honest, I'm just not... Uh, I don't think we're going to be using that one, because I've got a really nice epic bow that I came across from a chest. My, me old chesticles. So there still seems to be an awful lot of frick. Oh, oh, whoa, sir, sir, sir. Give me your soul, bastard. How dare you attack me? How dare you assume that you can lay hands or anything on me? Woo! Spicy. But now, okay, so... Clearing that shroud root out kind of helps, but not completely. Got it. Roger that. Shit. All right, back we go. And uh, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna grab a little bit of. We're gonna do this. We're gonna grab the old rest. stuff all fixed here. Um, backpack. Here we go. Forest longbow. It is a common. Meanwhile, the one that I'm using is wolf's snarl longbow, which is an epic. This one's common. The other one's epic. You know what we're going to do? Uh, we're going to salvage that. Um, the fat oh my god okay you know what we're gonna we're definitely yeah I'm gonna get rid of that one <laughs> we're keeping the we're keeping the guillotine I could live there what you mean what the place that I have set up here this it's cozy right yeah exactly we have two NPC shit talking now that's exactly what's going on All right. Uh, yeah. Oi! Embervale has changed. Before our time, a race of ancients built towers to survey the land, the ancient spires. One is close by. Climb it and discover the world anew. All right. Do we have anything new to... No, we do not here. No. Do not have anything new, but we can enhance. Rusty short sword. I'm not gonna... I mean, the poison's nice, but... Perry power. Ooh, this is getting real spicy here. 33. Holy crap, that thing's gonna be. Ooh! So nice. Alright, what do we. Uh... Right, I need dried first, so we need. 
We've got the drying rack already. We've got it. We'll meet again. Uh, you know, we're not going to mention that they're left in there to their own devices, by the way. We're, we're not going to mention that at all, okay? Not mentioning it. Not happening. Uh, mana potion. Hmm. So we now actually have, oh, what did I, all right, hold on. There was something specific I needed the shroud core for. I to upgrade the sh All right, what do we need? Strengthen the flame. I have five sparks. I need 10 salt. Okay, so... Shroud core. There we go. The flame, two out of two. Shroud core, I need five now. Right. Okay, so we have now officially extended the building range around the uh, altar. Uh, I need nine out of ten. I need ten wax. All right. Shroudwood ten, flintstone ten, charcoal ten, scavenger matron head. Ah. Uh, so before I can strengthen the flame any further, we've got to take. A, we've got to do another boss fight. Check. All right. Fair enough. We have the fell uh, thunder brute head. I mean, that does not sound great, by the way. Uh, mycelium goes in there. Yep. That should be all of it. Perfect. Okay. Zool, thank you so much for the five biddies. Throw that in there. Uh, what else can... What? Wait. Why are we taking... I was like, why am I taking up that much extra space when I don't need to. We're going to get rid of that and salvage it. Okay. I'll throw that in there. Perfect. Um, resin. Yep. Ruins. String. Thunderbrute head. Uh, actually, the cloth goes there. That goes there. And the Thunderbrute head can go there. I need to figure out how to make the freaking bone meal, though. All right, and as for the dirt, well, we're gonna go back in here. Slider's like, I give one cheer. Thank you for the bit, Slider. Thank you for the one cheer, Slider. All right. Okay. Um, you know, hold on. Hold on. We need to increase. I just had a thought. Let's do this. Grab that and that. Let's go talk to uh, the lady in here. And uh, let's see what we can do about comfort carpets. Craft one of those. We're going to craft one of those. Oh, well, craft two of those. If it bleeds, we can Did I just do that? Yes. Would I do it again? 100% can confirm. Last but not least. Oh, don't tell me you cannot build there. Don't don't even give me that bullshit. There we go. Comfort level 13. And of course, I forgot to put stuff back at Grind humans! Age old tradition. It could have been. If I could have done less, I would have. I mean, you know. That's fair. 
That is fair. All right. How long have we been live for? Eh, just over two hours. It's not bad. Right. So, home is now level two. Ancient Vault. Hunter, we've already done. We've done the Shroud Route. We've done the Elixir Well. So, we've got another Elixir Well over here. The Ancient Spires. So, we're going to head to the Ancient Spires because that seems to be the quest now. Salt Mine location. We're definitely going to have to hit that. Right. Um... Anything? Whoa, 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 hold on. Uh, we got Flame Shrine over there. Ancient Vault Farmer? All right, so we're going to go to the uh, Springlands Ancient Spire first, and from there, then we're going to go to the Ancient Vault and get the Farmer. Because that's just freaking smart. Okay. Build another flame. Okay, hold on. Uh, you can expand your home in different ways. Upgrading the flame altar increases building range. Strengthening the flame increases your protection against the shroud and allows you to build more bases. Uh, build a second flame altar in the outer wilds anywhere you'd like. Okay. Growing strong together. Ancient spires. All right. So in order to... Yeah, we've got the hunter now, right? Perfect. Charcoal kiln. Yep. Yep. Wall decorations. Fell brute trophy. Plus one. I need wood planks, fell brute head, and nails. How do I get wood planks? Wood planks. Would love to know how I get wood planks. We have three. Ooh, let's go. Heavy handed. Feast. Meat now increases health by an additional 15%. Uh, power parry. Quality gear. Minor. Out of reach. Alright, what do we got here? Feast. Right? Purification. After defeating a shroud infested foe with a melee weapon, you replenish plus five seconds of shroud time. Good to know. Slasher. All melee cutting damage is increased by an additional 10%. Solid. Thrust. All melee piercing damage is increased by an additional 10%. Also solid. Brute. All melee blunt damage is increased by an additional 10%. I'm not going to lie. Kind of leaning in towards feast. But the brute? Yeah, let's do that. We're going to th we're gonna throw the brute in there. Mm, can I? I can. Heavy handed is one out of two. You know what? We'll save that last point for the time being. And now that I think about it, let's go to crafting. What do I need for a flame altar? Stone. Five stone? Oh, psh, okay. We can do that quick. Uh, Let's grab that. Actually, I might not even need to do this. Ah, there we go. Two, three, four, five. Okay, we're gonna craft that. It is now, it should be in our backpack. It is perfect. All right, we're good to go. So I think what I will do is we're gonna get up to that ancient spire on the map. So we're gonna get up here to the ancient spire in the Springlands. And from there, I will I'll place a, a our second altar up there because I if I remember correctly, we'll be able to once up there, uh, we can actually teleport. No, you listen, sir. You listen. You listen. Jim Vault Blacksmith. Uh, you know what? No, we're going to go the other way. Went across instead of doing the, you know, floating around and doing dumb things, which we're notorious for. I'm not going to lie. Uh, there we go. 
And food. Perfect. How you doing, Canadian gamer? Excuse me, sir. Thank you. Finally making a bit of progress here, chat. Best, I mean, sometimes that's all you can do, right? Hardly working on this Friday. Okay, so that's the that's where we got the blacksmith. So we're yeah, we gotta go here anyway, so I don't feel bad about taking that wolf's life. Alright, sounds good, Zool. Sounds really good. Oh! Oh! Ow! Ow! Okay, I don't like that man's. You gonna chase me up here, bud? Headshot. There's Lou. Oh, come on. Let's. Shepherd's Lightning. Okay, I mean. Imagine this. You spot sunken stone pillars on the horizon, obscured by mounds of dirt. They stretch towards the sky like a titan stone, cold finger bones. The mark of a hidden tomb. The stairs lead inside lead into darkness. Torch in hand, you slip down into uncertainty, into dread. Yet, your search drives you deeper. A morbid treasure calls for you, left to rot in the dust. Is it family jewels, heirlooms from faraway shores? Whatever it is, my friend, it'll be the foundation of our empire, the cornerstone to a fortress raised from spilled blood. Sounds good? I know the rough location. If you take up the search, Gareth, I'll spit. I'll split the goods. Deal? Hmm. Oh, oh, wonderful. This is a torture rack. That's fucking fantastic. I love it. What a wonderful location. All right, let's uh, smack the crap out of a couple of guys, shall we? Tons of flint. That's good to see. I, I don't know. Should we... Okay, so we've got sit, searching for hidden tombs. Salt mine location. That's the ancient spire that we're heading to. So we're climbing, slowly climbing up. What a wonderful smell you've discovered. <laughs> I love that. As soon as you say... <laughs> oh, that is so good. Oh, that is, that is, that is pure comedy gold right there. What a wonderful smell you've discovered. Chat. 
chat. Bonus points for anybody who knows what movie that came from. Somebody better know the damn answer to this, other than Slider and myself. Other than Two Slider and myself, somebody else better know the damn answer for that. I'm not telling you the answer either. Not telling you. If you don't know, I, I listen. All my faith in this chat has been lost. A few extra health potions ain't gonna ain't gonna hurt. That's for damn sure. Uh, I would love. I mean, I'll take the the extra water too. That's great. Can we get some? Oh, more water. Uh, nope, nothing. Bone meal? Bone meal, let's go. I don't know what the bone meal is for yet, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be important. We're not going up there yet. Not yet. Oh, we'll take that. Yeah, we'll take it a little extra wax. Never hurt. Right. That it? That it. Come on, chat. Really? None of you? Wax? I mean, what? I have to say, I'm super disappointed. Very disappointed. Chat. I expected someone in chat to answer. We're going to take that, but only because I'm going to break that down. Maybe Chad isn't listening. Well, maybe that that's a you problem. And the whole idea of being in a Twitch chat is to listen to the streamer. Usually as a rule. I mean, generally. Precise increases stare. Not if you're lingering and have you... Are you muting the tab or are you actually muting, muting the stream? <laughs> Do we have to have this conversation again? Proper Twitch etiquette so you still count as a viewer? <laughs> Flask of the Fell. Hey, we're finding some of those now. That's nice. Doesn't matter what I do. I'm a muting you as I see fit. God damn it. Sir? I would love those of you who do lurk, and I appreciate my lurkers. I would love it if you guys actually counted as viewers, though. That's that's what I'm saying. Because that really does go a long way. Okay. Aha! We couldn't get across here before, and now we can. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little concerned. Oh, what in the sweet Jesus... Lots of health potions. What am I getting set up for here, chat? Why are we getting all these health potions? Like, how many... Jesus. Oh, whoa. Wrong. I'm like, why am I? <laughs> I'm like, shit. I just want Twitch chat to actually count as viewers. Because, I, again, I still think that the way 
The fact that you guys are here, even if you're muted, should count. And I don't like the fact that Twitch is very heavy-handed about that. First of all, it does make driving uh, interaction with, uh, with chat a lot harder. But that aside, um, it also really skews um, viewership numbers, like, terribly. More bone meal. Okay, you know what? We're coming up with a bone meal, so this is good. Fireball charge. All right, well. Salt. Oh, we might not have to go to the salt mine at the rate we're going. You saying something, I see your lip mood. Yeah, but do you not have closed captioning? I do use closed captioning, too. Because, you know, that's just smart. Wow. Says the man as, as he's responding to my questions. <laughs> I'm on to you, sir. I'm on to you. Metal sheet. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's continue around through here. Uh -huh. as, as he responds to me in chat to my questions, I don't have that on because I don't like to read. Keep talking. It's peaceful not hearing anything yet. Yeah. <laughs> Jerk. This isn't Jerky McJerkerson. <laughs> Calm down, Steinbeck. I'm not here to read. You should be here to read. Okay. As we continue up the spire. Who reads? I use mute. How many of these mother truckers do I have? Wow, we up to six already? I mean, I'm not going to turn down. Beautiful, sweet, delicious loot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All the sweet, delicious loot. Look at it all. It's beautiful. That's grand. Uh, for the record, uh, just to answer everyone's questions, if you have them, yes, I am a loot whore. I admit, openly, I'm a loot ho. I am a loot ho. Why would anyone... So much wax right now. It's all about that waxy finish. There we go. So much salt, too. In the video game chat, by the way. There's salt in the video game. Hmm. Really? Okay. Oh, what? Woo! We really are getting a ridiculous amount of salt, by the way. Okay, uh, that works a lot more effectively. Holy hell. Uh, chat. So, I love how it says ineffective, and yet for smashing everything, it's great. Look at how good this is. Wait, watch, watch. Ineffective, my backside. 
That is phenomenal. Ooh. Ooh. So much loot. So wandering around with a pickaxe out seems to be a very effective method for taking care of breaking things in uh, dungeons and such. Good to know. I can't read. I got important things to do. Goes back to painting a fake car with a fake brand. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to seeing that skin for the GR86, so that's going to be great. <laughs> the big pink. Oh, wow. Um, oh, well, that's good to know. Jumping puzzle, awesome. Yeah, the GR8686 one will sell this one. Oh, you're doing a specific one? Oh, come on. I, I, oh, I need that in my life. How do I, how do, how do we get in there? Okay, well that ain't doing diddly squ- Okay, well that got that at least, so that's something. Oh boy. Ooh, it seems a little... Chad, it seems a little spicy in here. I don't know. Oh God! Oh God! Oh! Oh, 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 oh my body. Oh, my body. Oh, God. Oh. Okay, so, um, <laughs> we're having a bit of a problem here. Problem is, uh, we're overshooting things. I'm only gonna take that ice bolt. Shroud survival flask. Yeah, no stick. Yeah, no spicy rocks are bad. Spicy rocks are very bad. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. We got in here. Really? I mean, we're getting up there. It's rare, but still. Very disappointed in that. Uh, we're going to salvage that. 
What is that? Wisp of light. Direct use. Five minute. An imprisoned wisp of light opening the flask releases a glowing wisp that lights the darkness. Uh, I'm going to use that. Let's freaking go. Oh, spicy rocks. Oop. How? Oh, wow. That really does. That really does improve things. All right. You know what? We got, uh, we got the light wisp. I'm okay with this. Quest updated. These ancient spires open fast travel points all over the world and reveal ancient knowledge of Embervale. Venture forth, child. The land must be reclaimed. We now have fast travel points? Pardon the what now? Salty goodness is great. I should have technically held on to this wisp, but you know, I got very excited. Something new. I'm like, oh, look at this. Bone meal. We're not running out of water anytime soon. That's a damn sure. Uh, oh, fine. Okay, fine that way. See if I care. Metal sheets. Well, that's good. So we're getting metal sheets. We've already got that one. Let's check this side. This side's already been cleared out. All right. That should be all of it. Yes. All right. So I can fast travel to there. Okay. So... The ancient spires can be fast travel points. We can fast travel to there. We can fast travel to the cinder vault. So salt mine location. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to fast travel home, fix our gear up. Uh, we'll get some sleep first. Is is it just me or is that all, that's all lit up now? You notice how that's all lit up over there? Oh wow! Okay, that's all lit up now. That's cool as fuck. The ancient vaults contain voices silenced by the shroud, yet some sparks still linger, flickering in the dark. A hunter, once of the fiercest in the land, and an alchemist with knowledge of the ages. Awaken them, for they will help you along your journey. Well, we already have the hunter. <laughs> we already have the hunter. Uh, let's see yeah, it. We're going to grab you old shut eye here real quick. Powerful alchemy. A hunter becomes the hunted. Quest completed. The hunter becomes a hunted. Uh, I'm just going to throw all the salt in there because that seems like the wise thing to do right now. We've got so much stuff. Holy... Anna. You know what? We're going to throw that in there and that in there. Okay. Come from 
level should go up to 13. There we go. Uh -huh. All right, uh, let's grab. Okay, we're gonna throw a chunk of stone in there because that's kind of eh. Rusty sword, we're gonna salvage that for there we go for the ruins, cause it doesn't really make sense to be wandering around with that. Masterful mace. Uh, well, I'm gonna salvage that too. Crackling wand, apprentice wand. Uh, I'm gonna salvage that. Alright, we'll keep that one. Shepherd's staff, shepherd's lightning. That's an uncommon. That's okay. So the shepherd staff is common. This one is uncommon. So we'll leave that here. And we're going to get rid of the extra potions that I don't currently need. I think the flask of the fell I'm going to hang on to though. That just seems like a, uh, a smart, you know, stick with it kind of thing. Uh, let's throw those in there. Perfect. Uh, let's grab the... Uh, I'll leave those metal scraps for now. I am going to take that out, though. Throw that in there. That, the bone meal in. Uh, bone. Ooh, ice bolt. I got to get rid of the ice bolt. Okay, so let's throw that, that, that. We'll put that there. Ice bolt. I'll put that in there. Raw meat, metal sheets, raw wolf meat. Okay, so in the wax. Okay, so this. Ice bolt. Ice bolt. Perfect. And we'll throw that and that in there. Oh, wait, hold on. Do I have the mana potion? I do have the mana potions in there. All right, that's... Well, I'll try to keep all of that in over here then. Um, let's do this. And so the idea is I want to, I just want to make sure that I'm not carrying like the, the metal sheets. Let's throw the metal sheets. So and they're all in the same place. Right. Uh, this. We have the salt in there. The only thing that we're missing is the animal furs. All right, Doug, the shit out of my ears. I can hear you now. What are you saying? First of all, why do you have shit in your ears? That's that's the that's the more worrying question. That that is a very disturbing, you know, a set of circumstances that you have shit in your ear, sir. Okay, dried fur, select. Boom, done. Three salt per... Wow, that's going to take some time then, isn't it? Um, storage. Wait, we have two. Okay. Um, we don't have anything I can enhance. No, all right. What about you? Enhance equipment. No. Okay. All right. Let's go. Cause I have to listen to the BS pumped into my head from the ball uh, ballsiest man balliest management. I work. Yikes. All right. You know that's fair. Fair. <laughs> It's like, I ain't got time for your shit. Uh, let's, where's a good, okay, so we're back here. We're gonna fast travel to the Springlands. Just makes more sense to do it this way. We're just gonna do it from here. 
Oh, God, the views up here are just absolutely gorgeous. So look at this. Story of Rot. Ah, Flame Trier, Flame Trier. I wonder... All right, I... Th so we've got that, that. We've got to get this one out, but... All right, chat. Who's ready for some? Uh, who's some? Who's ready for a little bit of base jumping? Y'all ready? We're gonna go base jumping, chat. Shall we? Let's freaking go, man. All right, that works. We just get Checkpoint. <laughs> here. We go. Oh, this could this could end terribly. By the way, I just realized this. Let's go. Let's freaking go, man. Always come back in and check your chests. Eight fireball, why not? I'll take it, let's go. Oh, Jesus Christ. Scared the shit out of me. Sir. Woo. I almost peed. <laughs> I almost peed myself. Just a little, just like a little sneak. Just a little drop. You know. It was like, damn. All right, there we go. All right, so we're heading towards the salt mine. That's kind of the idea. So the idea here is we're gonna to try to make the progress across towards the salt mine. Would you like to save your pighead.psd for compatibility? <laughs> yes, I liked all my swine compatible. But of course. Why would you want your pig in why would you want your swine any other way, right? I mean, sure. Charcoal. I'm not going to say no to explosives, by the way. Shroud wood and explosives. Okay. Let's uh, keep an eye on our backpack here. What do we got? Eh, we can delete that. We can delete that. Definitely keeping the scrap. Yeah, all that stuff we're keeping. Yeah, we'll get rid of that too. Why not? Arrows. Flint arrow. Okay, so I can make flint arrows now. Good to know. Uh, yes, I have one skill point. I am aware. I'm not changing that. Salt mine location. So we're going to the salt. So we, oh, we're actually closer to the alchemist than we are the farmer. All right. Um, I 
Farmer's there. Uh, flame Sanctum. Flame Shrine. There's a Flame Sanctum. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I am 100% cheesing the living hell out of some of the, the traversal mechanics here. Can confirm cheesing the traversal mechanics hard right now. Location below. Of course it is. This does not really seem like a great location, okay? I'm gonna be honest. This really doesn't seem like a great location, chat. That shield is terrible, too. Well, this seems like a terrible idea. Absolute worst idea ever. Worst idea ever. Damn, he hit like, he hit me like a truck. Jesus. Loot. All right, we got three minutes left. Spores and sickness. I believe the shroud to be spores. Tiny, almost minuscule fragments that spread through the air, now condensed. Heavy and potent. They cling to airways, eyes, fur, and skin. They spread. The fungi release these spores upon contact, but their roots might have been anchored below us for a long time. We awoke a slumbering malady at the Earth's core when we built the first elixir well, distilled the first elixir. The mysterious wanderer opened the floodgates to ruin Balthazar. Damn. Right, so... I've got to get my ass out of here, because we're... 
dangerously close to getting dying and we're gonna we're running out of time here. Apprentice one, mid-range. Take the salt. My faculty sharp as ever. The thumping leads the way. A bold, beautiful pounding. It rattles my bones, but wets my palate. My shy compatriots have no taste for riches, or so it seems, as they departed while I slept. We had just broken through the tunnel where, deep at the end, the wonderful buzzing seems to sing. No matter. For, more for Bertram, I say. Forward ho, Bertram. Seems rather like a bit of an idiot, really. Oh, we're full. Shit. Um. Okay, well, can we get the hell? Nope. Oh, I think we're in Critter Nest. Nope. We're in danger, chat. And I can't fast travel. Oh, God. Oh, we are in so much danger now. Oh, we are in danger. We are in so much trouble. Oh, sweet God. Oh, sweet Jesus. I Yeah, I know! Oh, uh, we're screwed. We're doomed! I can't do anything! Talk shit, get hit. This pig has been AI hands. I wasn't really talking shit, though. I wasn't really talking shit at that point. I knew I was in danger. It was at this moment. Bobby knew he fucked up. I'm cheesing the hell out of this. Well, I was cheesing the hell out of the travel mechanic. As you can see right now. <laughs> oh, my ankles. I like that. It never forgets. Yeah, obviously. Oh, my ankles. Uh, you know what? We'll, 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 we'll use one of these. <laughs> oh, shit. Whoopsie. Okay, chat. What did, what did we learn? What did we learn here? Like that, it never forgets. You can't, yes, exact, yes, you can die. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So far, so good. 201 mil or meters 201 meters Right, uh, we're not gonna well, I'm kind of cheesing the the mechanic, but Not quite to the extent that I was prior. All right. Let's 
Get my stuff back, chat. Take all of it. Thank you. Alright, is this the way out? That's the real question. That's the way out. Okay. Alright, so that is the way out. There we go. Use AI to upskill the ham. Now I'm cleaning some artifacts. Hashtag ham science. Well, I gotta tell you, you're wrong for using ham science. Give her. Use all the ham science. So Egerton salt mines, critter nest. Journal. What do we got? Searching for hidden tomb, story of rot, flame altar, and base improvements. Powerful alchemy. Let's, you know what? Let's go get the alchemist. I'm going to set that as the, uh, we're okay, so we're we're really close to getting the alchemist. So let's let's head this way. Let's go. Let's go get the alchemist. Location above. All right. We got our stuff back. That's the important part. We still have the additional shroud protection, so we get an additional two minutes. Ye old ham science. Okay, so what am I dealing with up this way? Got spiky club? Yes, spiky club. Let's go. Aha! Oh, shit! Well, uh, that's explosive. All right, I'll take your stuff. Thank you for your metal scraps. Appreciate your contribution to the cause, sir. That mud can F all the way off. Okay, so the mud the mud pits in and around here slow you down. Mud gets caked on your feet and it slows you down. Oh. Gladly take the, uh, ooh. take the things from you. Ancient Vault Alchemist, here we go. Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, this guy's a freaking psycho. You're gonna be difficult about the. Oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Hi, bud. Oh. Wait for it. No, he. No, you know what? He. He's doing that to himself. He's hurting himself. He did. <laughs> Ham Gaussian blur. Hashtag art. Sounds like art to me. 
Okay, so we're oh got it. Got it. This this man's Stash our hall. That hall was good, too good to share with the rest of those snarling cutthroats, so I stashed the deadliest bits in the last place it would look. You know, the cave well enough. You know the cave well enough. Well, what have we currently got in our backpack that we can possibly get rid of? Uh, we can delete that. We can delete that. We can delete that. We can delete that. Um, that's... That's a level five, so I'm actually going to keep that. This we're going to salvage, though. This we're keeping. Uh, Shroudwood will keep the critibits. We're going to delete those. Okay, that should be a little bit better and give us a little bit more room. Right, ancient vault. All right, journal. Scavenger stash. Man, the level of depth that we're getting into here is ridiculous. I'm really starting to get more and more impressed with the uh, with the depth of questing and everything in this. Hamski. Um. I mean, sure. I guess if Poe had verticality in it, <laughs> I guess. Okay, sure. We'll take that. Gladly. Oh, shit. A few more humans in. There's a few more bodies in here than I was expecting. Whoop. Spam the hit key! Spam the key! Aziz, light! Okay, we're gonna we're gonna break the club out this time. Oh hi! Look at the trap! That's very nice. I see what you did there, you bastard. Okay, no, they built wall. Awesome, they built walls. That's fantastic. Hmm. Okay, the ever evolving odd. The oddities of uh, how the vaults are built is a little strange to me. Well, the ma yeah, the massive, the massive uh, freaking tree is definitely Poe style. I still firmly believe that a third person style of P like this, like if Poe. If Huey actually played like this, 
I think it'd be a lot of fun. Oh, we're, yeah, we're going to repair the equipment. That's, that's nice. Um. All right. We've got the alchemist now. Plus 21 more. Balthazar the alchemist, huh? All right. Well, we've got Balthazar now. We have the alchemist. Two new locations added. I hear sparklies. I hear glitteries. I hear, you know, goodness up above me. But I can't see diddly squat. I know it's up there. I heard it. So the real question is how does one get up there? Right. <gasps> oh. Oh my, what shinder. So I need to get up there so I can get down there properly. Shit. Hmm. Hmm. Right. That's the trick, isn't it? How do we get down there, chat? Hmm? How does dad get down there? Let's go into the backpack. Let's grab this. We're going to throw that in there. We're going to do this so I can see what the hell I'm dealing with. Okay, I can get up higher, so that's a plus. Okay, uh... <sighs> hmm. Well, chat, I'm at a bit of a loss here. So we know that there's that chest there, but there's something else on the top. I'm almost certain of it. I'll give the devs credit. They don't make all of the loot really easy to access. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Really? That was it? <sighs> Seriously? Man, we got ripped off, chat. More flint arrows, that's good. Well, we've got the alchemist. That's actually the important part here. So we're going to go we'll fast travel back. <sighs> All right, grab that ye old shut eye there. Uh, 
Okay, let's commute do our commune. Another survivor awakened. The alchemist will prove helpful by crafting potions and healing tinctures. Okay, well, we got what do we got in here? We a hey, nice. All right. We need more salt though. Yeah, I can't believe I just said that, but I did. I said that. All right, we're going to salvage that. Uh, the Scorching Wand. Apprentice Wand, level 5. See, the Scorching Wand... See, that's the thing. This one is level 7. That one is level 5, but... Let's do Enhance and see what happens. Okay. Ice magic protection, fire magic protection. Yeah, we're just gonna break that down. It's, that's really not worth. We'll salvage that, we'll get the, uh, we'll get the material back for it. It just makes more sense. Right, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna toss that in there. Um, I've got to, we're going to have to, oh yeah, okay, that's what I was, no, shit. Damn it. Um, hi Warp Spirit, how are you? I hope you're well. Uh, we're gonna salvage that too. I, we don't need that anymore. That one's pretty well run its course. Uh, all right, we're gonna throw fireball and ice bolt in there. Got plenty of those collected up. We have heal channel. We still got five sparks. We're doing well with that. Um, Oh, you're what? Wait, what? Your roommate's moving. How come? That sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. That means you have to move out by May too. Oh, right, because you're in a place right now that without the roommate, you're kind of unable to maintain, right? If I remember correctly. Just because of how ridiculous freaking rent rates are everywhere. Which is unfor- like that- that's unfortunate really, like. Well, you- I'll be honest, you seem like a- a very resourceful person. You ready to relax? Well, come on in, you know. You know you can kinda- you know you can just sit here and chill AX a little bit, it's all good. Uh, we're gonna alt that over, and... Right, so we're gonna cook up a little bit of ye olde freaking wolf meat here because we're gonna need it anyway. Uh, and I think the next one to go grab, we're gonna go grab the farmer next. So we already cleared the well out. We got that first, that first initial, over the first initial hump there. We're gonna throw that in there. Uh, we'll throw that, that in there. Okay. Um, I placed the ancient vault. Did you scope it out? There's no time to waste. Uh, I kind of already did. Yeah. Uh, dried fur, torn claw, string, string. So let's. How much do we need? We need five. Perfect. All right. Five of that. String and torn cloth. Let's go. 
Um, and before we get too far into this, crafting, string, what do I need? Plant fiber. That one. Right. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, 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 uh. Done. <laughs> Man, I can make string fast. That's fantastic. You saw how fast that was? It was speedy. Good old Speedy Gonzales. Uh, okay, we're gonna craft us up some of that. Beautiful. What do I need for twigs and flintstone? Scrap arrows times 50. Those do. Oh, scrap arrow. Wow, really? Oh, you need 10 metal scraps and 20 twigs to make 50 scrap arrows, though. Not terrible, but. I can do it. You heard it, chat. You heard it right there. I can do it. All right, equipped. Small backpack, there we go. Skills, still only one skill point left. Got it, journal, quests. Um, we'll set that as the act. Yeah. All right, so growing together is gonna be the act of quest. Throw that, and that, uh, that, that, and there, and the dry. Actually, no. You know what? The dried fur. Uh, dried fur. We're gonna keep in here for now. And before we go, we need to summon in our alchemist. So let's come in here. Um, I don't know where. You know, as weird as it's going to be, I think we're going to we're going to we're going to bring the alchemist in here. I don't know. We're going to I'm definitely going to have to build something. <laughs> don't give me what is it this time? I will slap the stupid off at both of you. What is it this time? We're gonna do that. Right. Four. Uh -huh. Hello. Okay. There are specks of dust in a whirlwind of star. We are specks of dust in a whirlwind of stars, my friend. Do you dare reach out wishing to grasp a piece of eternity, perhaps obtaining an eternal spell that would suit you? I know one was buried in an underground tomb alongside its dreadful master. You could use it to do a lot of good. Another set of hands would be useful to us if we ever plan to expand the base. I, for one, could use more storage for my potions. I happen to know of a, uh, I happen to know the location of another ancient vault. Why not look around? Okay. Health potions. Oh, here we go. Shroud flasks. Very nice. So we got the fireball, the ice bolt. Grinding stones. Production place. Simple... Simple setup for basic grinding work, especially for good hard ingredients. Bug dust. A protein rich ingredient created from crushed critter shells. Glow dust, a magical dust that can glow in the dark, consisting of crushed the crushed remains of firefly. Yeah. Shroud core. Shroud spores and shroud liquid can create shroud cores. Beautiful. I love it. Spiritual cane level 5, 17 power. A basic magical staff that is powered by the wielder's spirituality. Staffs can cast spells by using spell charges and mana. Equip spell charges to cast. Alchemist apprentice set. I ask some kind of nice stuff. Books. Collection of books. What is better than one book? No books. You know, if this... Set 
Safe travels. Right. Okay. Um. Let's get rid of the. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get rid of this. That goes back there. Thank you. And that goes back there. Boom. Done. And. Let's do. All right. Food, beverage, all of it. Oop. Okay, so we have a new location scavenger. So that's scavenger stash. Another ancient vault farmer. Uh, we're going to. We are going to set that as a waypoint, but ancient vault carpenter glow in the dark dust <laughs> nuke winter. Yay. <laughs> right? It's like, yay, nuclear winter. Let's go. Um, Farmer's going to give us food. Carpenter is going to give us better construction overall. An eternal spell. Oh, that's the buried tomb story of rot. Yeah, we're going to set that as the waypoint. Uh, speaking of which, before we get there, hold on. Fast travel there. I still haven't put down that, uh, that other, um, flame altar. All right, uh, we're heading that way, right there. See, there's, there is the, we can see it from here. That's where we got the alchemist. The farmer's right there. All right. Man, this makes travel so much easier. <laughs> that is... Man, you can get some distance with that. That is fantastic. I <laughs> ah, don't even get me started. Don't even get me started. Oh, that was beautiful. I love it. That was absolutely stunning. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, we're into level seven territory too. Fuck. Love that. Find the farmer. Well, we're gonna find the farmer, all right. We're uh, we're making some moves here, Ferndale, huh? Right, scumbags. Y'all bunch of scumbags back there. I'm not dealing with your shit right now. Nope, not happening. I'm probably gonna have to deal with the scrappers up here, though. Or yeah, scavengers. Sorry, not scrappers, scavengers. Okay, Ferndale, yeah. And there's, oh, there's a shroud root over here too. All right, let's get the farmer first and then we'll see if we've got time to get to that shroud root. We'll take care of that bullshit over there. Location above, thank you. I'm having a difficulty trusting this area.
I mean, I, I feel like I'm right to be hesitant about this, this spot. It's a little too... Barren? <laughs> Compared to the others? Pressing X to doubt. Oh, this is going to be booby trapped as shit, isn't it? Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, well, this is going to be great. Um, well, let's sure we'll go down. Let's see what we got down here. Before we go... God. Um, did they build this place on an active effing volcano or something? Like... Oh! Oh! Spicy. That would... That... Ooh. Woo! Woo! That was... That, that was... Uh, that was spicy. That was incredibly spicy. Definitely take bandages though. Bandages are good. Shroud. Uh, I mean, do we need the alchemist at this point? With how much stuff I've already been able to scavenge and salvage? Do we really need the <laughs> alchemist? Asking for a friend. Oh. Damn. Wow. Uh, that sucked. Whoa! Ring of... Ooh! Yes, please. That's very nice. Alright, um... Lifesteal, stamina, health, plus eight stam, plus ten health. You know, while I like... Okay, that get you know what? The life leech isn't really doing me any good though right now. Not right now anyway. Ah, oh, man. Rough call taking that off, but technically not a bad call either. Carpentry assistant. Growing strong. Okay, so we are in the right spot though. Workshops. Grinding stones. Bone meal. Alright. So you take the bones, create bone meal. That makes more sense. Okay. That actually makes an incredible amount of sense. Um. Hmm. Yeah, totally worth it. Worth every second of it. <laughs> yeah, we just totally. Ch yep. Um. Diogenes! Hey man, what is different about this game versus others in the same genre? 
Well, I would actually say... This game in of itself is kind of unique. There isn't really anything in this specific genre with it. Now, I know a lot of people are classic, sort of throwing this in with um, Valheim, and I can tell you that this actually has way more... It's actually got story, right? So there is a very well-defined quest that you're on, whereas Valheim, it's just... Um, the building, the building in this is actually very unique too, because everything is voxel based. So it is a, you know, single, single square. Like you can build tiny, single, little one, one block, um, construction if you want to. It'd take you a while. I'll have to check all of that. Oh my goodness. Oof. My kids. But Diogenes, welcome. Um, really, it's just it comes down to actual story. You feel like you you feel like you're actually accomplishing something because right now, if you look at the map, right. So this is just what we have opened up in twenty two hours of time, and this is just in a very small area compared to like. Also, the nice thing is being able to have 16 players grouped together doing co-op is rather nice, especially from a building aspect. We have a fast travel system now. So Valheim, you can build portals, which technically gives you fast travel, but there are some difficulties or some complications like you can't you can't use portals to transfer um, like mind goods, like metal and everything else, right? Group stuff. Hey, what? You got a problem with group stuff? Oh, hell no. It is, it is very plot heavy. Um, so we've got undiscovered survivor, undiscovered survivor. So we've got two left. We're right now we're in, we're in here in the ancient vault for the farmer. I am very impressed so far with... How they've decided to structure this side of it. Um, okay, well, uh, that's definitely a thing. I feel like we just cheated, though. I feel like we just skipped a whole... We technically kind of did, didn't we? Yes, we did. Um... Right, so I just went and skipped ahead a whole crap load. We're gonna do this. Cause uh, sometimes these things have good loot. Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes. Or those shroud flasks, oof. So much loot right now. There we go. I'll take the health potions too. Those are fantastic. Thank you. Keep sending metal sheet. Yet yeah, crafting material. Let's go. Uh, no, I'm not just. <laughs> no, not dismantling the books. They serve no purpose. I was kind of hoping maybe that one would have given us. Um, a little bit more, uh, like some of the, some of the lore, another one of the lore bits. Nope, that's just stone. Okay, fine. Shelves, just stone. Hey, listen. You better not have any problems with group stuff there, Slider. Otherwise, we might be fighting, sir. Problems with group stuff? Ooh. I didn't, it, that was almost a fiery death. Uh, also, uh, Diog Diogenes, if you've still got your, if you're still here, uh, another thing about this game is the verticality. 
the game traversal is actually very unique and very interesting in we have a glider and as you just saw we have grappling hook there's a lot of puzzle involved in getting through the uh through some of these areas as well so there are, there is a hefty puzzle component which quite frankly i i've been thoroughly enjoying even though usually i'm not a big fan of puzzles in games this one is just enough where it feels more like a f kind of a physics puzzle i guess character progression so yes so you do have a character right you do have a level uh you've got stat your status d so we've got no debuffs you can see there is a food so food can add you know to your strength to your constitution your stam regen things like that but uh we do have attributes so you do have a leveling and progression uh, system and as you can see, your flame level, so the eternal flame is something that you actually, that's where you place your base around. So it gives you where you do your building. So it, it kind of gives you a protected area. Uh, with that, you also end up with a skill tree. So all the way out, you've got survivor, beastmaster, ranger, assassin, trickster, wizard, healer, battle mage, tank, warrior and barbarian so i'm kind of you guys can probably see i'm leaning down towards warrior i'm going uh you know i'm going a little more uh you know tank smash idea than i normally would have normally i tend to go for ranged uh with like more of like a hunter build but this time around i'm like nah, you know what i kind of like running up and smacking shit in the face so Definitely going that route for a change. Uh, I don't need the stone. I'm just hitting all of this because I want the loot. I just want the loot. That wax is going to come in handy. I already know it. All in on the wax. Uh, let's get some of that corn into us and let's get the last piece of wolf meat into us. There we go. Our rest, we're, we've only got six minutes left on that rested bonus. So that is the other thing too. Uh, much, so much like, uh, if you really want to compare them, much like Valheim, uh, this does have sort of a rested system. Uh, based off the comfort of your location so certain certain items within your uh, within your home will influence the overall comfort level and uh, how long your rested bonus lasts which improves your uh, your health and your stamina regen Also improves your stamina level in general too, just how much stamina you have available to you in your pool. Okay, salt, yeah. That's right, we're throwing the salt in there, cause Dodd's salty. And we got stairs. what's over here per se but we're gonna find out momentarily okay uh let's do this shit oh that ain't gonna work with a shit that's it wow i feel ripped off Oh, catastrophic. This place is freaking huge. We haven't even gotten into the actual vault yet. Locate. You know what? No, I'm up here. We're, we're no, no, no. I've made it my goal to climb this damn building. We're, we're already up here. 
I refuse. We're already up here. I refuse to go back down. Don't tell me that the location is below me. Uh, no. Nope. Nope. I refuse to accept the new data that has been provided. <laughs> Honey? Okay, you know what? Like, hey, you want... Apparently somebody just... They're calling me, honey. Shit. Okay, so... Yeah, so there is... There is a decent layer of progression. So you do get experience for discovering new locations. You get experience for killing enemies. Water. Okay, well that's not really much of a freaking nightlight, is it? That is, though. Nope, wasn't worth it. Was it worth it? No. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, that hurt all oh, my body. I suppose if you really want a good comparison, this plays more like like Zelda, kind of like Breath of the Wild style. This plays more like Breath of the Wild. Am I safe from the trap? Oh, yeah, because I hit the magic button, that's why. We're safe now. Dad hit the button. Okay, we'll take- I'll definitely take that. I mean, we're doing all right. We got some stuff so far. Level seven, Shepherd's Lightning. Okay, I mean, we'll take it. Definitely not, uh, not realm breaking, that's for sure. Um, okay, location above, yes, I kind of figured as much, but the problem is here, I don't know about you, oh wait, hold on. There it is. Oh, oh, oh. Bones. Ah, uh, what did we just resin five? Shrub ceiling, seedling at seed bed. Okay, so we now have this man's here. Um, ancient vault. So, all right, we've got the farmer now. Alright, so, hear me out. There is, oh, 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 no. Oh. There looks to be. Alright, there is no way to get up there, is there? It does not look like it. Fuck. No. 
All right, fine. Fair enough. All right, so we've got the farmer. Farmer has been retrieved. Okay, so we now have the farmer. That leaves the carpenter. All right, let's... All right, let's head home. Okay, uh, we'll increase stamina maximum and regen, speed up the night. All right, what have we currently got in our The rubble, we're going to delete that because that's a waste. Throw that in there. Um, okay, so let's throw the wax in there. I have a sneaking suspicion I'm going to need that wax, a considerable amount of it. Uh, we're going to get rid of that because that's trash. Definitely going to need the summoning staff. Uh, we're going to throw that. Shepherd's lightning, shepherd's lightning. Oh, psh. No brainer. We're going to salvage that one. All right. Okay, let's throw those in there. Okay, so we got some ice bolt, we've got fireball one, and we got heal channel already taken care of. Uh, the bone meal, the metal sheet, and the salt. Uh, that one there. Okay, so we're gonna throw that in there. Perfect. Resin, bone meal, the salt. I already know where the salt's going. And the bone, done. What a nice surprise. We're going to need shelter for We're all homesick, myself included. If you can build me a room, I could help you make the place feel a bit more like home. How about it? I mean, we can do that. Energy. Seed bed. Let seedlings germinate in a safe environment. Okay. Farm soil. Healthy soil that will increase the growing speed of most plants. Also good to know. Energy. Popcorn. Plus seven stam recharge, good for five minutes. Greatly regenerates stamina upon consumption, delightful and sweet. Right, okay, so if I do four and uh, you know what, we're gonna, let's, let's do this. What if I bring you in here? I'm just gonna, yeah, we're gonna do that. Let's put you right there. Is that better? Farmer needs shelter. Apparently that worked. Okay. Uh, what else can we talk about then? The world opens up. You're doing it, Flameborn. You're healing the Springlands, but our world is vast. Trust me, I've traveled it plenty. Set your sights on the ancient spire in Revelwood. It will open our world more. We're all with you. All right, and does that, no, doesn't open anything else for crafting, but. Okay. Stay safe. Reclaim the wilderness, there we go. Oh. Another day. Another chance. If you think we're powerless, do not fret. With my hand spindle, I could craft better armors for us and increase our chances of survival. I lost it during my escape through the revel through the revel wood in days long past, near Westcott, when I laid down to rest. Don't wait, I've got your back. 
Marksman hood plus nine more. Whoa, 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 whoa. Marksman hood. Well, let's... Okay, so all of this stuff is... My stuff is already up to date. Like, it's already... So we've got the scout set. Ooh! Oh, this is beautiful. Holy crap, look at this stuff. Ranger hood. Ranger vet. Okay, listen. Um... Makes me feel like a Power Ranger. Go, go, Power Rangers. <laughs> Did, no, I didn't break anything. Okay. All right. Uh, looks like I'm going to have to do some major building, by the way. That's the one thing I'm starting to, starting to notice. I'm going to have to spend an increasing amount of time. All right, world. Okay, so we got scavenger stash, ancient obelisk. We've already done that. So where we found the hunter, we're going to have to, I'm going to have to look into this love letter to Queen Jessamina. We've got to do these other elixir wells too, because this clears the shroud route out, which makes it a lot easier for traversal. The hunter's hand. Oh, this is okay. All right, all right, all right. I see what we're doing here. I got you. Reclaim the wilderness. An eternal spell. And we still have the carpenter to get to. Uh, I gotta say, so far I'm very, very happy with the, uh, with the, with the level, uh, we've already hit here. So we've already got the flame, the flame up to, um, the flame two out of two, shroud core, I need zero out of five. I don't have any for, uh, shroud cores currently, but we need to strengthen the flame too. Uh, salt, sparks, I have the sparks, we have the shroud wood. The only thing I'm missing right now is the salt. Possibly, let's have a look and see how much salt we have in here. We only have one salt in here right now. Fuck. Okay, um, we're gonna take that one. And we're gonna throw that in there. This, for now. I don't wanna be using it for the, uh, for the fur. Uh, we're gonna throw, yeah, I'm gonna throw that in there. Oh, that in there, there we go. So we have 30 metal sheet, plenty of sheet. All right, so what I'm effectively guessing here is we're definitely gonna have to build some new locations. Uh, first of all, we're gonna have to get everybody into their own kind of a building, right? Like we're gonna have to have a uh, structure set up for the farmer. Uh, this, this one here, effectively, that shop there is actually the blacksmith shop. So that's where the blacksmith was set up with the forge. He seemed very happy with it, with the shelter. Um, it looks like for the hunter and the alchemist, they're going to need their own space. Uh, it would appear that the farmer is fine where she is currently. So maybe we'll just leave that as it is. Oh, it does a cinematic camera and pan. That's what it is. I was like, what the heck is that? Right, so... I hope the peasants pay lease. Uh, probably not. Like that, I hope the peasants pay lease. I mean, you know, <laughs> probably not. Prima Nocte, this town. I mean, it's not even a town, though. I mean, and to be fair, the gable ends of the, the the building are still open. I think what I might do over the weekend is I might... I'm going to watch a couple of videos on, like, specifically the building system in this. And I think what I'll do is I'll set up some buildings. To be fair, we're all cousins now. Oh, my God. Oh, 
Odd that somebody I know just sent me a friend request, which means it's probably not that person. It's probably somebody trying to scam. I was like, wait a minute, that person is actually on my friends list already. Unfortunately, the downside is this, the, this person is also, um, he's only got a little bit, little bit of time left, unfortunately, to live, so. Kind of sucks that way. Uh, all right, so. We're fast travel to the spire. Ooh! It bit my ass on the way out. Wait, that doesn't... Well, that sucks. Okay, set as a mark. Okay, we're gonna set that as a waypoint. Yeah, no, it it my my thing is it's a shame because he is such a such an amazing, like really really friendly, very giving human. If that makes any sense. And it just, it seems, it does just kind of seem like a bit of a shame. Right? Because he is, he's truly one of the good ones, you know? Uh, I'm actually talking about a friend of mine from high school who's currently terminal. Uh, he's got a, he's, he, he's got a... He has a brain tumor that is inoperable and you know all they can really do unfortunately is just they they can keep him comfortable and that's pretty much it right it's kind of sucks balls but uh I went uh so I didn't talk to him in, in, in a little bit of time because he uh, he spent the better part of the last 30 years as a uh, long haul, like long haul truck driver, right? On the road during the week, um, kept it clean, did it by the books kind of thing, right? Like he was always one of those uh, do things by the book kind of, kind of guys. Always about the book, right? There's regulations and there's rules. He's following that shit to the letter. Um, but, you know, it was one of those, you know, he owns, he owns his own trucks. He took the contracts he wanted. Like he, 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 he truly did the work like the way he wanted to do it. Not, not by anybody else's standards, but by his own, right? Oh, wait, 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 can I? Pull up. Sorry, I got distracted here. Um, and unlike, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, well, you know, like, oh, well, they're disgusting, and, you know, like this and that, like saying all the, no. Oh my God, that's right. <sighs> Shit. Um, now I forgot what I was saying. Not worried about this right now, sorry. Remember that marker, but... Yeah, no, it's just one of those... It's one of those things, really. It's just... It just is really just sort of a, a shame that... He's going out that way. Cause he really, he really, again, he's just, he's one of the real, like the true good, good people on the planet. And it's just hard to watch him go through something that like, I wouldn't with like what he's currently dealing with. I wouldn't wish on anybody. I'll be honest. 
Like I wouldn't wish the 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 pain, discomfort, and the worst part is he's been um he's had like some memory loss and you know some fine motor skill loss. Like it just it seems like such a freaking tragic way to go, right? Wait, I can Aw, oh, come on. Oh, here we go. Aha! Uh -huh. I mean, you can make all the noise you want down there. That doesn't mean I'm coming down to play, you bastards. What if I don't wanna? I don't wanna and you can't make me. Well, the thing is, he's not even medicating. That's kind of the crazy part. He's just like, he's he's already, as far as he's concerned, as he, as he put it, he knows his time's up. He's not medicating. He's just going to do what he can while he can, and that's all there is to it. I kind of applaud him for it, but it's just, it's, it's funny though, because he and I talk on Facebook on a regular basis and all of a sudden I'm getting a, you know, the, the whole, Hey, uh, like a friend membership, like a friend request on Facebook. And I'm like, wait a minute. We're already friends. We already talk. Oh, give me that bullshit. Uh, I cannot get over the freaking just the the movement in this game. Mana potion, sure. More water, yeah. More water. I'm not even, I'm not even sorry that I, uh, I traverse the way I do. Oh, ow. Whoa, whoa. You guys aren't even allowed. Who said you could be out in the sunlight, you bastards? Oh. Level six. Holy crap. Hunter's bow. Oh, God damn. I was not expecting him to come down the damn stairs. Pine short bow. It's rare, but. Mother trucker, that scared the hell out of me. Vicious. Shroud magic damage, shroud magic damage. Practical quick bow made from humble pine wood. This tension is weak, so using. Yeah, we're just gonna do that. Okay. Fiber. Okay. Oops. Okay, well, I wasn't expecting that. It's actually very nut. Ooh. 
Okay, well, yes, please, thank you. All right, well, that takes care of that. Okay. What do we got going on here? So we're not that far away. I'm really kind of looking for because I'm looking forward to getting the carpenter because I feel like that's going to open up some construction options for us. And then we can, uh, then I'll start with, uh, doing like the spindle and things like that. What time is it? Oh, it's almost 6 p.m. Hmm. Flame shrine, flame shrine, story of rot, ancient vault. Is over okay, so we're yeah, we've got to go up before we can go across. And before we get too deep into this, let's have a little bit of a drink, a nom, and you know what? Stamina, yeah, I'm out of wolf meat, I'm out of the cooked meat. Shit, the cooked meat is gone. So the honey is a sweet which acts as a massive fast recharge for stamina, but has a very short duration, kind of like real world sugar. Location is below. I kind of figured as much. Take the meat. Oh! Oh, my ankles! Oh god, that hurt. Hello? Ancient vault carpenter. Where's the entrance to the vault? Oh, there it is. I'm like, where's the entrance? Shit. Flame Sanctum? Okay, we've got a spark. Grab that. Loot some more honey. Definitely. Okay, so we've got a flame sanctum here too. That actually turned out to be rather nice. Unexpected, but you know, hey, here we are. Folks, if you're just joining us, welcome. I'm your host, Scott. This is the Arcade. Happy Friday. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. Appreciate it. All right, so where is... Getting further away from it. Shit. Okay. So we found the flame sanctum. Not so worried about that as much as I'm trying to figure out. Okay. 
Oh! Okay, you know what? Not even gonna question that. What do you mean the location is below? I am Yes, chat. I am dad is desecrating a grave again. I figured out this was a thing, so we're uh we're grave robbing, okay? I mean, a level 7 metal star is nice, but we're not going to use it. Delete that. We're going to delete that and we're going to salvage that for its coin. That is, ooh, that is so good. It says below, right? So I wonder if we can dig in from the top. So we're gonna dig in from the top, chat, because that's how I feel like we're gonna we're gonna do this. What is that? 24 meters now? There we go. 23. I don't know about you, but it seems like a legitimate strategy here. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. We're going to dig our way into the freaking crypt. We're running low on stamina. Yeah, we'll just keep going. Yeah, we're just gonna keep going. It says location below. Well, what do you do? Just dig. It's all, listen, it's only 16 meters. Only 16 meters, chat. It's not that far. Not that far. In the grand scheme of things, 16 meters, not that far. If this actually works, I'm gonna die. I'm not, not literally, but figuratively. Fresh air. All right. Um, Thirteen meters. Come on. We're getting there. that okay that's what I was afraid of so the entrance for this one is actually in the shroud fuck that actually explains a lot more then okay you know what I'm gonna stop digging because that is definitely not worth it oh shit okay you know what Danger. There we go. Right. Okay. So it is in the shroud. Fuck. I was afraid of that. Shit. All right. I was afraid that, that was that was gonna be the case. So it's actually in the shroud itself. Uh... 
So that means that the entrance is around here somewhere. Great. Okay. Well, I mean, this is how you find out, right? Sometimes you just got to explore the the local area and uh, figure it out. Uh, let's climb up a little bit higher. I think this is about the point in time. Ooh, god damn, that is... Woo! Gets... It gets dark, it gets dark, chit. That's better. As I'm like trying to find the edge. All right, there's the edge. Oh. Hi, boys. How you doing over here? How you doing? You wanna come get some? Are you even capable? Oh! All right, well, that gives us a little bit of light. <laughs> shit. I should have known. Um, so this is what we're going to do here. I need to put this down. Extend its range. Need a shroud core. One shroud core for that. Strengthen the flame. Yeah, I'm not worried about strengthening this flame right now, but. It does give us a little bit of light and a little bit more protection, but also sets us up. That actually sets us up. All right. So that one is home level one, home level two. We're gonna fast travel back here. Nice thing is this sets us up to be able to fast travel uh, and continue this and get the carpenter on Monday. You know what? Nah, screw that. We're gonna do that now. I'm actually gonna- we're gonna get the carpenter now. I was thinking we'd just wait until Monday, but I'm gonna do that now. I'm just gonna keep going until we get the carpenter, and that way all of the- all of that is already done. Uh, I'm gonna delete that. Okay, we got- you know what? We got a bunch of stuff to clear out here. Alright, so... What do I need? I need to switch over to that. We're gonna do this. And we're gonna do six. All right, there we go. Yo, hi, welcome back. How's the dog park, Zool? So we have the alchemist, the hunter, the blacksmith and now the farmer. We have one more left to get. Really good. I'm glad that it was good. That's good to hear. That is very good to hear. All right, let's make sure. Where did the wolf meat go? I'm like, where'd my grilled wolf meat go? Okay. Let's go. Wife walks in, sees me editing an image say, that says the freshness of ham doesn't miss a beat and just walks out. <laughs> image that says the freshness of ham. <laughs> That's, 
Oh, uh, that is, that is freaking, that is great. That is actually great. All right, so we'll throw that in there. Uh, that goes in there. A little bit of stone, right? Uh, actually, that will grab there. The freshness of ham. There we go. We've got six sparks now. All right, that. Oh, oh. That. That. Actually, you know what? We'll throw that up there. There we go. That makes me feel a little bit better. Ish, kind of. Uh, animal fur string. Okay, that goes there. Actually, that, 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 that. The goal to be is to be super visible, much like, I mean, you can't miss the slurm yellow. You can't. You, you can't miss that. It is distinct. Very distinct. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna throw those in there. Um, oh, where can, okay. Uh, I gotta go to the food thing. All right, good for teaming up. People will fall in love. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all, actually. At least I don't think there is. Throw that in there, so that put, okay, you know what? We're up to 31, that's fantastic. We're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna delete the stone, done. Okay. Are we ready? Fast travel. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness. I, again, I was I was ready to just sort of pack it up, and then I'm like, no, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna wrap this up with getting the the carpenter and getting that one done and out of the way, because the carpenter is like underneath us. Okay, here we ah! <laughs> I saw you, you sucker! Oh, oh! I saw that. We're adding an extra two minutes to the. Uh... Get wrecked, nerd. You can also get wrecked, sir. You know what? I accept the fact that we came in a completely different way than I think the game was expecting us to. <laughs> And I am all right with this. Yep. And health increase. There we go. Okay, we're good. Yes.
The stagger is real. That could have gone way worse than it did. How did that? Okay, wait. How did the... Ah, oh, I was like, how did this man get up here in the first place? Oh, we'll take the bandits. That, that, nothing wrong with... Actually, speaking of bandages, let's, uh, let's use one of them bad boys. All right. Okay, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna try the big effing axe now. Maybe not. Nope. Sure not. I was going to, and then realized we got all these critters down here, and I'm like, nope. Ain't got no time for none of this bullshit. Holy God! Oh, where did they all come from? Sweet Jesus. Good God, man. Oh, Lord have mercy. This place is crawling with them. No. Gross, man. This is nasty. Nasty ass mother truckers get no bad, bad bugs. Bad bugs. Oh, come on, man. No, uh, no, nah, this ain't even right. Um, hold on, hold on. We're we're gonna try something here. That's what I thought. F all of that crap to death. How did you take care of your bug problem? I killed them. How'd you kill them? I blew them up. Okay, worth it. Absolutely 100% can confirm worth it. <laughs> Execution is axe. Oh, God damn. There's more of these things? Damn critter tunnels. Oh, come on. You guys be nasty. Nasty. No. 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 You stop now, sir. Big pink. Big pink picks shared. What in the hell is that thing? Nope. Nope. I'm no fu Oh, shit. Ow! My body. Flame Sanctum. Oh, uh, we're under the... We out. I'm out. Ah! Oh, Jesus. Who oh, this bitch?
Yeah, we're restoring the time. We need to. We've already been in here way longer than I would like. this bitch. Come on. Oh, come on. Really? Screw you! If you beach. Screw you, be. Oh, come on. Seriously? Come on, you've got to be kidding me. I don't like those. I don't like them. No, sir, I don't like them. I don't like them one bit. This carpenter better be worth it. That's all I got to say about this. There was crappy rape. Gotcha. Oi. Lost a whole lot of nasty. This is just a whole lot of nasty. No, sir, don't like it. Oof. All right. Um. Yeah. The the shroud can suck a giant bag of dongs. Okay. Explore Westcott. Um. So we now have the farmer done. Blacksmith. Scrappy rake. Okay. Carpenter. Small magical chest. This magical small chest offers increased storage space for items. The items stored here can be used for crafting purposes from anywhere in the from anywhere in the base. Oh, well that's good to know. Wooden bed furniture. Okay. All right. Tables. Banquet table. Oh, this is some nice stuff. Fireplaces. Chairs. That's actually a nice looking fireplace. All right. Bench. Okay. Plus two comfort for that one. Plus one comfort for the chair. Tables. Plus two. Plus two. Plus two. Sheesh. A bathroom. Wooden bathtub. A commode. A lavatory. No wooden sink. Illumination chandeliers. Firefly standing lamp. Polished scrap brazier. Standing torch. Okay. Brazier. Eh, that one's looking kind of rough, but you know. Firefly wall lamp. <gasps> Come on, dude. Oh, it's so good. Carved doors, 
carved window frames? Shelves? Oh, yeah. This is some building now. Ladders? Secret doors. Very nice. We've got... Look, holy crap. Kiln. Crude industrial oven, oven for sintering and heating. Okay, so definitely going to have to... Wow. Wow. So that's the seed bed. Uh, grains, corn seedling, vegetables, tomatoes, fruit. So we got berries, herbs, materials, shrub for... Um, and fungi. Okay. Three. We... Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, hammer time. All blunt... Damage is increased by an additional 20% out of reach. Butcher, all melee cut and cutting weapon damage. Uh, feast. Meat now increases health by an additional 15%. Uh, pierce. Strength. Okay, veteran. When hitting, attacking with a melee weapon, your critical hit chance is increased by 10%. That's nice. Swift Blades allows you to attack faster with one-handed swords and axes. Constitution increases your constitution attribute by one. Heavy Specialization. Um, Strength. Heavy-handed. An enemy stun bar. Ooh. Purification after defeating a shroud-infested foe. You replenish plus five seconds of shroud time. Should this time run out, the shroud will consume you. Fair enough. Thrust. Pierce. Uh, this leads into shiny plates, physical armor, gains 10% more armor points. Uh, merciless, merciless attack. Constitution. Heavy handed. Um... Jump attack, strength. Fuck, really? Oh, this hurts me, but I want the quality gear that all tools lose durability 50% slower. But I also want the jump attack so it leads in. You know what? We're going to do that. I'm going to unlock that. When equipped with a melee weapon, you can perform a jump attack, which deals 50% more damage in a weapon in a small blast radius. Cost stamina appro appropriately to the weapon's weight does not work with tools. All right, that's fair. Uh, where specifically are we at this point? So we've got, so I have a, a flame, um, an altar up here, an active altar up here. This is just strictly to, for fast travel purposes, I figured, you know, we were over here. I needed to be over here for the ancient vault. This was a good spot for it, right? Just made perfect sense. Um, let's go have a look and see what we got down this way here. See what we got down on Yule Farm. I'll be honest, I used to be one of those people that sometimes felt bad for, for striking down just animals in a game. I don't feel bad about it anymore. I'll be honest. I don't. I used to. I don't anymore. It's virtual. I wouldn't do this to a real animal. To be, to, let's, let's be, you know, perfectly fair about this. I would not do that to a real animal, but fake animal? Eh, it's virtual. It's a virtual animal. It don't matter. It's not as if it can feel pain, you know? Virtual! It don't matter no more, you know why? Because it ain't real. It's not a real critter. It's got no feelings, it's got no emotions, it don't feel no damn pain. You know what I mean. 
came to the realization it made no sense that I felt terrible about something in the virtual. You nasty ass freaking giant freaking disgust disgusting freaking spiders. Nah, you know what? No, I ain't going down there. Uh uh. Nope. Nah, fam. Nope. Nope. No freaking reason to go down there and play with the spiders. Nope. Not a single one. Not a single freaking one. Okay, hold on. What is this? Okay, so the tools work better for that? Good to know. Yep. Tools work better for this. Way better. Damn. Alright, good to know. Alchemist ring. Six mana, six stam, ten health. Not bad. metal sheets okay so again just like uh, what we found in some of the temples the axe oh god damn that stuns too that's good to know jump attack that is uh, out of their body More water. All right, so this looks like it was a cute little town at one point. Okay, well, we got beds. Hey, there we go, more. Mm. Right, I am not carrying any lock picks with me. Of course I'm not. I've just kind of been smashing my way around, right? So, mom got settled. Oh, that's good. I, it's there for you to. I mean, right, right, Viper. I'm glad that your mom got settled in the in the in the new uh, the new facility, like the new place. She's doing okay. Does she seem like she's in better spirits? It looks like there are a lot of people that just died in their freaking bathtubs. It's kind of sad. It's very sad. It'll be way better. She's doing well. I'm glad. I'm glad that your mom is doing a lot better, Zool. That's, that's really good news. Ew. Spiders. Cobras! Cobras! <laughs> For those of you who don't know the uh, the Simpsons reference, shame on you again. That's that's all I can say. Shame on you. She just couldn't look after herself anymore. Yeah, I know. That's it's always a shame when they get to that point where. Okay, there's a campfire there. That's cool. You know, it's quite pretty up here. Okay, hear me out. Do you think it is possible to reclaim and reuse an existing location like this by throwing down the flame altar? I 
I feel like that should be a thing. I don't know if you can actually do that. But if you can, that, that's kind of cool. Okay, that is a little on the Ring of Endless Life. We already have one of those. All right, so we already have a Ring of Endless Life. Okay, I love the construction of these places and I kinda... That's more Wena. Flame Shrine. Cinder Vault. Oh, this. Okay, this is this whole area. Ah, I see now. Okay. I got it now. We're gonna fast travel. We'll spawn in. Uh, so we're, we're gonna repair. We're gonna spawn in the carpenter. Uh, we'll see what he says. I think we'll leave it at this point. I don't know. Yeah. So let's let's repair. We've got the survivors all all set up now. Rough wood block. All right. What do we got? Metal block, luminescent, tried wood, stone, uh, chairs, tables. Yeah. It's all very, very basic stuff, but if we come in here and we, okay, let's do that first. Throw that in there, uh, that down there, that there. Um, Bone meal, yeah, it goes there. Um, that goes there. All right. Metal scrap, nails, charcoal. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I need that. Thank you. So the only thing I can do is unequip. I don't know what happened there. Something that's very odd. That makes very, n like, zero sense to me at all, and I'm very confused about what just happened there. I don't know what happened, chat. Something is a little off there. And I don't know what it is, but it's not right. Okay, that goes in there, though. Uh, that, though, we are going to salvage. We're going to throw... Yeah, we're going to throw that in there. Okay. Um, sleep. Night speed. And then from here... Okay, uh... Character. Right, okay, so it was showing us that is very unusual, but whatever. 
backpack. Uh, we're gonna swap that out for that. And... Hey! Quest complete! Hey, there we go. Oh, nope. <laughs> no! What? No. Nope. Okay, you know what? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay, let's, uh... Can't you look at my crap? You know, Flameborn, I helped build Morwena. Named, uh, named her after my, me, ugh, my most peaceful auntie. I built many a town round here. Ever seen Dad win? I think I left some of my half-timbered blocks there. Why not check finders keepers? Okay, well, that's fine. Bridge. <laughs> Kate Hawthorne in the car. You found my notes. Yes, I've long considered myself among the best, though my Aunt Braylon would beg to differ. Of course, great artists have a signature to mark their works. Mine is a chest. I set in the foundation of Braylon Bridge, right by the middle pillar. Despite my best efforts, no soul has noticed yet. Tombs and treasures. Ooh. Flameborn, you've got that spark. We share a passion, oh. don't we? Architecture, art, grave robbing. Uh, I mean, preserving forgotten beauty. <laughs> That's dark. It's rumored that our queen was buried, although none know where, alongside her curios. She's got no use for them now. She's dead. Ha, so why not go exploring? Okay, and... Dun dun dun. Okay, we now officially have this. Got it. Okay. All right. Watch out for splinters. Watch out for splinters, he says. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, we're gonna need Shiza. All right, Bogo's there. Uh, we need more storage spaces. We need more storage. Uh, what? What? Okay, Alchemist Mortar. My trusty mortar is lost. I suspect it is in my tower in Lone Thistle, in the deepest depths. Please find it for me. My abilities will be much greater with it in hand. All right. Another friendly face. This one will make a fine addition to our roster. Together. To All right, equipment loss. Here we go. Uh, Og, just where is it? Uh, where is it now? It was right here. My equipment chest. Need it. I need it for salvaging, but it got swiped. I'm telling you, someone took the whole chest. Ask around for me, will you? Someone here is a dirty thief. Break a leg. Oh, several. <laughs> if it bleeds. Make yourself at home. An equipment chest, keep it down, will you? Yes, yes, I borrowed it. I wanted to finish some old projects, you know, but er, if you tell old Oswald, I might lose me other hand. Get this, I'll tell you where to find it if you keep quiet, all right? Good speed. Right, so this effectively means we need to build a fucking town, chat. This isn't just build a building. No, 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 no. We need a town because these play people need their own individual space. This is... This is going to be some bullshit. Fruits. Seed berry. Broadleaf seedling and evergreen seed. Okay. Nice. Got it. Quests, Alchemist Mortar, Hunter's Hand Spindle, Reclaim the Wilderness. Okay, uh, an Eternal Spell, a Queen's Tomb, Story of Rot, Scavenger Stash, Oswald Anders Chest. Uh, we're going to set that as the active. I think that's the first one to do. <laughs> and let's check the world. Whew, so many Morwena, yeah, okay. Okay, so we've got two more shroud roots to take care of. 
Oswald. Okay. Died in its building blocks. Okay, so those two are right beside each other. Reclaim the wilderness and reclaim. So I could knock these three off all at the same time, which is freaking holy Jesus. This map is massive. Absolutely freaking incredible. All right, then. Scavenger, so... So we know, okay, I think in order to clear the salt mines, I've got to clear this well here and clear the shroud route out. So I think... All right, so I think this is what I'm going to do over the weekend. Over the weekend, uh, to set up for Monday, as I'm going to spend some time strictly collecting materials and... Uh, getting together the stuff to build a small location, like a town, effectively, for all of the people that we currently have. Uh, because we've got way too many, way too many bodies here. Anyway, let's do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna back out of this. We're gonna back out of this, chat. It's get ridiculous, okay? I gotta say, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying my time at Enshrouded so far. It just, every time, it, it seems like every time I just get a little bit further, it unlocks so much more. So, the beautiful thing is, there is a ridiculous amount of gameplay. It is, the nice thing is, is while it is very linear, you can sort of pick and choose where you're going and what direction you're taking. If you want to just sort of explore and open the map up, whatever, you can do that. Uh, you're not really limited once you've got the grappling hook and your glider unlocked. I'm not going to lie. Gives me some, like, some, this gives me some Zelda, like, Breath of the Wild kind of vibes. More so than anything else. It get, I'm definitely getting some Breath of the Wild kind of vibes, which is very cool. I love it. Um, chat, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Thank you so much for dropping by, being here. Thank you so much for the follows. Thank you for subs, resubs, gifted subs, bits, and tips as always. Oh my. Just the tip. We don't ask for anything else. Just the tip, chat. We're going to go raiding. So if you guys don't mind hanging out for a couple of minutes. That's right. Zool knows just the tip, right? We're going to see if we can find somebody to go raid. Uh, who we got? You know what? I know where I'm going to send you. A man tiger rider. We're going to send you over to Tiger. Go show Tiger Rider a little bit of love. He's an amazing human being. Very well spoken. Very real. Very authentic. Uh, he is currently playing in Shrouded as well. They're doing... He He's playing with a group and they're doing a lot of building. Highly recommend you go check him out if you haven't already. I'll meet you guys over there. Have yourselves a wonderful weekend, and I'll catch you back here for Monday. That's right. See, Tech Noir, Booba. He knows the Booba. I love you guys. Have a great weekend, everyone. Cheers.